Good evening, everyone. And welcome to Saturday Night Fights, brought to you by Sean Connery and the Armchair Dragoons. It is a pleasure to end up what has been a lovely day here in the American Middle West in your company. I got, you know, you talk about the modern world we live in and how my father, a World War II veteran and all that, really would not have understood it. Right as I'm getting ready to take this live, my son is standing at about my 7 o'clock, facing away from me in his VR headset. What are you doing, Volker? I'm, I'm, tr I'm trying to get to the bow. You're trying to get a bow. What are you playing? Blade and Sorcery. Uh, Blade and Sorcery. He is uh, in his virtual reality headset uh, attempting to get that. So that it's, uh, it's not a world, like I say, that my dad would have readily understood. But that's... Uh, that that. <laughs> He apparently got his Oker, boat. stay in there. The real world's too ugly to get back out. Visit. Just stay <laughs> it, it, there. Uh, right as I'm getting OJ ready, urges you to stay in there because the real world is too ugly. Um, I really can't say that I, I... I'd like to be able to disagree with him, but I can't. So let's see here. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. We're going to do this. And that's a tweet, people. All right. So the tweets are out. Um, I think. Yeah, that's right. Good, good, good. Got that going. Yes. So anyway, as I say, we are here with Sean Connery, as ever, to play something or other. What are we going to play tonight? Well, I'll tell you which we're going to play. We're going to play the Battle of Teugenhausen again. That's right. We had a wonderful game of Blucher last weekend. It was a real blast and had an opportunity to uh, have it one another using the uh, Blucher scenario for Teugenhausen. Well, this is a scenario for Sam Mustafa's other big Napoleonic game, his newest one, La Salle 2, which we like. Um, there, there were some design challenges here because this honestly is a Shaco 2 scenario that I've adapted. Nice thing about Shaco 2 is it's the same scale, uh, the same level of troops. And uh, the ground scale, I just make it a little bit bigger. In fact, 150% bigger because the frontages of battalions in Shaco 2 are a good deal smaller than they are for LaSalle 2. Um, I also had some other challenges with this that we'll go over as we get through the game. But uh, first of all, let's talk to our commanders for the evening. I don't, I di we didn't even have to talk about it. We knew what was going to happen. Commanding the army of the, uh, and actually it's not Napoleon tonight. It is the greatest commander of the Napoleonic Wars, Marshal Nicolas de Vaux. We have our buddy Delanor. How are you? Vive l'Empereur. Vive l'Empereur. There it is. And by his side, burlap secondhand, we have the command tent. How are you? I'm doing well. Glad to have you by. Over here on the side of the Austrians, commanding the Kaiserlichs, as they are called by our friend Giorgio, uh, we have the chronologist. Good evening. We're going to put paid to the Corsican ogre today. Uh-oh. Putting paid to the Corsican ogre. Joining him in putting paid to the Cors Corsican ogre is Mike, OJ's dad. How are you, my friend? I'm confused. I thought we were facing Napoleon's best marshal. Where's Bernadette? Uh, Bernadette. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Starting Shots already. Fired. Starting already. That's uh, it. We're getting a prolock tent. Throw him in. Where is he? <laughs> David Pump House. Hey, LPH. Good to see you, man. And of course, has the uh, statement comes out from Red Sax. If you're if you're playing, stop hogging the live chat. Red, it is long known that those goofs don't count when they try to grab first. So has gets the Red Sax prize, or what used to be known as the Dalinar Award, but he's playing now. So here we go. Uh, what do I want to do here? I want to check something. Trying to watch the stream tonight because we had a couple comments. I'm trying to, I'm trying something a, a little experimental. But anyway, so as I say, this is a scenario that comes from Michael Hopper's great book. And um, unfortunately, I think he's almost all sold out of them. His book, Eagles Over Bavaria, 1809. We already know the story. Um, as the Chrono observed last week, this is a little less of the battlefield. And what's really interesting is, unlike a lot of scenarios, this one is deep rather than wide. Although we've seen that a little bit also in the Derlone's attack scenario. Um, let's see here. There we go. There we go. There we go. Nothing much too surprising going on here. This is going to be a 13 turn game at a minimum. At the end of the 13th turn, we're going to start rolling a die. And on a five or a six, that rainstorm is going to come. No matter what, it's going to end on the 16th turn. So it's between 13 and 16 turns. Um, there's not too much surprising here other than this. The uh, goals, the objectives for the sides. 
couple. Ooh, I don't. Why isn't that locked down? One road section not locked down. I don't see that every day. And now it is. Um, the Austrians gain some victory if they can get troops to this road. Remember, it was Charles' objective to deny Davu a line of retreat. Because Davu wins this battle, he winds up getting a line of retreat. That's what's bugging me. Can I see that? I can. Very good. I worried I couldn't see something. They also gain victory points if they get a body into Teugen. The French win victory points for both Solido Solidorf, Solidorf, there we go, and Hausen. So the towns, that, that, that is not a particular surprise. They will also gain points, which I will not reveal because I think that's a historical to do, by breaking formations. Remember, there are brigades floating out, floating out around there. Uh, yeah. Ah, forgive me. It is not South. Ooh, that's interesting, Michael. Mm. It is, of course, Hausen, but it's also Schneidhart. So there's French merit in finding that, too. Hmm. Most curious. Um, oh, yes. We are playing with both the Huzzah marker and the skirmisher rules. Everybody recall what skirmishers do? Everybody recall how you get a huzzah? No. No. <laughs> All right. You get a huzzah by winning... Hey, Ray, good evening, man. You win a huzzah by winning a melee, by breaking an enemy unit all by yourself. It can't be a two-on-one. It can't be like that. You've got to do it all yourself. And a huzzah lets you do one of two things. It lets you take off one of your disruptions, or if you've moved, it lets you move again. Okay, so they're, 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 little, they're a little extra thing. I mean, they're not dramatic, but they are something a little bit extra. The way that skirmishers work are, are a replacement to the, uh, the base rules. If you win the skirmishing, and we play the skirmishing just like before, we're going to roll all those dice. You'll notice that all the counters are preset to the current level of skirmishers. If you win it, you may place a voltageur on enemy an enemy on any enemy foot unit, infantry and artillery, unlimbered, not limbered, unlimbered. You must be able to draw a skirmish line to them. You may never place them on mounted, and only one per unit. The skirmish line is a straight line which can be no longer than 24 inches long. Oh, I forgot, my base widths are different here. <laughs> I got Blucher on my head. Pretty sure these are going to be twos. Yep, we're playing them as twos. Got it. So instead of 24, we would say 16 from the center point of any of your unit contributing to the skirmishing. It may not go through any enemy unit, and it must go to the front of the unit that it's going for. It may not pass within two inches of an enemy cavalry unit. Okay. What do those skirmishers do? Well, a bunch of things. The first time it's marked, whether when it acts in a turn... Something happens on a volley or a bombard by that unit. It's a downshift. If a unit has a voltageur, it can't rally. If a unit with a voltageur wishes to move or change formation, the enemy unit that the enemy that placed that voltageur on them gets a free one die shot against the target's resolve. So depending on what happens, that's how it happens. And again, how many do you get? You will roll your two-side skirmishing die. The winner gets a number of voltageurs 
equal to the advantage by which he won. So it's not halved. And we have our voltage markers. I used uh, these very nice Giorgio originals right here for the Austrians. And of course the French have a proper green pom-pom voltage of their own right here. All right. And it will be remembered that uh, units are brigades. They are all obviously labeled. So have you been counting your brigades in proper in, in proper LaSalle 2 fashion? I count five Austrian brigades. One, two, three, four, five. Correct. I am um, not sure where these Victoria batteries go, though. Those are allowed to be assigned to their divisions. The core may go with anything. So there are different... You'll notice that the... Uh, Got to mark that a little better. Yeah, it does. This, yeah, this division. is this is second division up here. This is third division back here. Hey, Chrono, you want to jump on the team? Oh, yep. Yeah, sorry. No, no, no I believe we have seven. One. Eight. You got two up here, Ron. Oh, there's two up here. I thought it was all one. Okay. Yeah. So and eight. Believe it or not, it was a struggle to get the French into point equality. There's one piece of this that I will confess is experimental. And that is how to deal with the big Austrian battalions. For example, there we go. Oh, we have no cab this time. Oh, no, you don't. I know. Sad times. Right there. 1st Battalion, 23rd Regiment. That's one of those big Austrian battalions. Notice it carries a strength of seven. Where's this at? Got it. There are others those out there. Be rough. Those are those big battalions. It's one of the ways I saw recommended to try to do this. So uh, we'll see what works. Questions, comments, or opinions before we do set up? I want cavalry. <laughs> Let me look. Oh, I'm checking in the book. Oh, look, no cavalry. Dang Ron, it. Ron, you really don't want cavalry. I know I don't, but you can do them. You did it great <laughs> last time. Yeah, that's true. We get Opal uh, Cheney if you get Calvary. No, I already oh, took the Opal Cheney figures off to the side so no one can hide so I can hide them. Mm -hmm. uh, what does the attack column note in our unit mean again? That means when you go into melee, it does not count as a as a dis as a uh, complication. Complication, yeah. We don't spend an extra mo for it. As long right. as you are in mass formation. Right. As long as you're doing your mass. You can't do it in column, and I know you, you you can't do it in line, and you really would not want to do it in column. Oh, yeah, no, column bad. Column bad for melee. Yeah. Uh, yes, so that's that. And the Austrians are going to deploy first. You are in your deployment boxes. Let me prove it to you. So you got a little more room than all that. Feel free to set yourselves up wherever you like. Say hello to Giorgio. Hey, good evening, Giorgio. We were talking about you. And, and Red was giving us updates on the uh, cousin's altercation at the gaming table. Mutual combat was pleaded to turn a, a ticket. Blue tweezers, man. Good to see you. Welcome. Glad to have you. Oh, I gather David Pumphouse was in the uh, online Kriegspiel 2, Chrono. It was. He was. Nice. I was not umpiring for him, but he was. And before David Pumphouse leaves us, I want him to know that because of him, that is why the next uh, campaign for Chrono and Vance will be Operation Martlet. Because he said. Wait, you mean me? That, 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 yeah, I meant CT. Both start with C, that's okay. I meant command tent and vance. As long as he isn't rolling 19 dice at me every time he shoots his infantry, I'll be fine. Well, it just depends whether you wind up with the Germans. or. The... Remember, this is 1944, so the British and the Germans have changed dramatically. 
just in those few years. <laughs> Glad you're pleased. And just to be clear, it is Austrian setup time if I haven't missed, if uh, I know I've been talking a lot. That is not the case at all. In fact, we were discussing the fact that we have turned your uh, lovely, your lovely skirmishers into the voltageur marker for LaSalle, because now we're using the voltageur rules. David, don't tell CT such things. Great. What's he telling me? Nothing. I need all the advice I can get. Nothing. David, oh. you'll have to uh, uh, DM me that advice, please. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so much advice as it is profound discouragement. Oh. After my yeah, outing last big time? time? Yeah, I don't think you would even want to read the comment that David put in. It might discourage you. He's he's my only cheering section, though. That's also true. Hey, I cheer for you. Oh, thanks. That's just because you don't want to go in a sack on Saturdays. Oh, just so. <laughs> Self interest is a fine is 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 a legitimate motivator. But every time I come on, do I not? I always type in go to CT. Oh, I see. I never look at the chat because I don't want anybody to give away what crazy flame thing Vance has hiding in his reinforcement box. Oh, that's fair enough. I would never cheat on it for you. Hey, Brent. You know, it's so strange building scenarios for Operation Martlet after spending so much time on the Eastern Front. I had to, those, uh, Tommy, those Eastern, th those, I should say, those British platoons are so different than the Russian. Yes, they are. Hey, CT, at least we're not going up against the British that have friggin' rapid fire and friggin' everything else. That's true. We just have these oversized Austrian the, fellas. Yeah. I don't know which one I would rather deal with worse, the oversized or the stupid British firing at us. Well, if I can give you any solace, compare the skirmish values. Oh, I double checked that. Oh wow! Oh wow! That's a slight disparity. Uh, 
They don't get all, well, they don't have that when they're in line, though. Not, sorry, not in the March column. Yeah, you're gonna and you're gonna lose even more. Depend. That's if that is based on everybody being deployed, so it'll shrink on both sides depending on whether you're in March or. Uh... Yeah, well, for what formation you're in? There you go. How's that? Uh, formation. Do 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 oh. do do. I think Mike's uh, hiding in the woods over there, Ron. I see that. Um, which of these uh, horse artillery? Which of these? Uh, sorry, which one of these um, batteries back here is attached to Liechtenstein? <laughs> Fortunately, I have the book. It says really lovely art on the front too. Second division is A. Liechtenstein. Or Bieber, for that matter. Okay, so third division will... is with these guys up front, then? Third division is... Do, 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 do. Those are those horse guns, yeah? Yes. Second here. I thought I had a note on those. Oh, no, no, no. They deploy back. That's the artillery. Oh, I see. Remember, you got to remember, these guys were on the march. That's where they start. Okay. Yeah, I know that. But uh, who And so where? you've got, you can attach them how you like, is my point. Oh, uh, okay. Yes. Di uh, the, uh, the second division would be staying back here with, with Bieber and uh, A. Liechtenstein, but they don't have to. Okay. And uh, this is obviously I've got them double built, so you got to tell me whether you want them limbered or unlimbered. Should probably start limbered. They have okay. nothing to shoot at back here. All right. I think I'm good to go. You're all set. All right, uh, Mike, are you good? I think so. Holy cow. You're Mr. Dude for real in the trees. And you remember the rules, Mike, that those guys will not be, those guys will have to activate separate. Well, it depends what you want to do, but you can't give them a force order. They're too far away. All right. I'll probably scoot them back in here in just a second. Thanks for reminding me. Yep. And what's the distances for that again? It's pretty generous, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it is, but it's, it's less than where Mike was. The anatomy of a unit. Near the enemy, remember, is eight inches. Might as well bring that up because that's coming up. You just know it. Uh, forces four base width, so also eight inches. Eight inches. There it is. Okay, I think we're ready. All right. French people. Yes, how can I help you? You must now organize yourselves. 
to attack or defend or counterattack or whatever you choose to do, the crazy Austrian persons. You guys are just going to go play in the trees, huh? You'll notice I tried to sparsely populate the woods. Hey, Jim. Yes. you zoom in on a specific unit doesn't matter which one get a really good portrait shot sure I'll wait till we take it green okay but sure and just so you know Mike and I you know we do run a million rule sets cavalry cannot charge and cannot charge troops in woods You can move, but you can't charge. I apologize. We have the second artillery back here, second division and third yeah. division horse artillery, right? You can attach them however we want, yeah. Okay. Or just leave them separate and just individually to activate them individually. So. I suppose I should be over here on the French side watching things. It depends, has on the mod. Um, I'll get, you know, if it's a little bitty mod, I'll get into the hundreds. Um, something like this, it'll it'll dog a little bit. Can I? Can I? Is there a frame rate monitor anywhere in here? I didn't think there was. Are the towns considered difficult terrain? They create, you will recall in this game, they create a complication unless you are in column or limbered artillery. Okay. 
garrisoned, they can be garrisoned, but then you can never leave again. Yeah, exactly. Your troops right. like uh, set up hammocks and stuff and get comfy. They don't want to leave. And what what uh, remind me again? Ranges for infantry, artillery. Infantry is eight base with the eight base width. Um, artillery, I believe, is um, twenty four base width total, with eight base width being canister range. It's interesting that of all the nice things they've got in here, that I think is the one thing I've repeatedly observed is missing. Yes. Yeah, that's the one thing that's missing on here. I remember we talked about this blank spot right here. It was perfect yeah, yeah. for it. Yeah. Also, you can only see, see one base width through woods. And you can thus only shoot one base width through woods. Yep. That's that's exactly what I was just looking and at. You can it's... only charge one base width through woods. You get to see your target to be able to charge. Yeah, woods are a mess, as you might well imagine. Yeah, range for uh, infantry is 8 inches, and bombardment is 48 inches. Already Frenchman in the trees. I am ready. CT? I think I'm ready as well. Groovy. Hills. Yeah, I can't forget it was a flat, and I'm like, ah, uh, that's why I switched. I had to switch a couple things. Hills, hills, hills. And quite the hills they are. And Mike, you said you didn't have a preference for what troops they were? No, no. Brand was just asking for a. Oh, got it. I know what he wants. Yeah. Yep. Do you? We'll give him some nice Kaiser licks to look at. All right. Well, some people have screwed up their lovely skirmish numbers. Yeah. How many did you take off their uh, Austrian? Oh, no, you didn't. Those are not in column. They have six in column in the back there. We have these guys in column. Uh oh, I just got a Unity update. For... Yep, I just crashed out. All right. I don't think we're in trouble. I'd save though. Never a bad idea. So we take off. So I'm sorry. You said you got how many guys out of? Uh... Three of uh, six of them, so that would take off eighteen. Eighteen points. Yep. Who do you got in column? Oh, these guys back here. Yep. Austrians. How many you got? 
Uh, I think they're all of ours because all of our guys are in mass. Okay, Four they're three. all in mass, so you're good. So the French take off 18, which leaves them with how many? 69. All right. And the... Uh... 43. All right. So, uh... all right, let's have it. Let's have a dice fountain looking for sixes. It will be remembered. Sixes. See if you. Uh, we only have five, unfortunately. Got a lot more than that. We have fourteen. Ouch. Hey, Ron, what's this artillery over here? Is that your unlimbered? No, these, yeah, these, they're limp. Yeah, these are my unlimbered okay. markers. So I understand correctly that there, there's a difference of nine? Yep. Yes, but fortunately we are out of uh, eight base from them, so they can't actually do anything with them. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I was going to say, there's nobody to skirmish at, so that's, that, that's good luck for the Austrians, but holy cow. It's going to hurt later. That's, that's, that, yeah, yeah, you're not wrong, man. Uh, we uh, can probably figure out our, our momentum totally. Yeah, we gotta do that now. Um, yep, so that's gonna be a total of four. But anyway, brigade on the table. Remember your uh, counts? I got, uh, that's four. You have Lorenz, Dister Abeth, Gautier. You have three, actually, I think. Oh, three. One, two. No, four. Three. And gunned out. So. Oh, that's it. They were hiding in the trees. Already lost track of them. So you've got how many? French? You've got to stab and wrath? Eight. Which you've got a total of... You can't... That's four. Yeah, this is this is oh. one brigade right here. Gondau, Gautier, Lorenz, and Destana Brett. Those are two. Those yep. are both the uh, same brigade. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just different battalions. That's all you're looking at, CT. <laughs> oh, yep, yep, my bad. Now, if they were the Prussians of late war, then maybe. Yeah, so four is what the uh, French have? Yep. Four for the French. How many for the Austrians? Five. Four to five. All right. So mark your four. Mark your five. I uh, Oh, that's the one thing I forgot to have you do. Place your baggage, Austrians, please, if you haven't. It's on the table. Okay. Is that where you want it? Uh, that's the only row we have, so that is our line of retreat. That's a good point. And the French, who have two, although, well, I'll let you choose. We have two. I only see the one. You have, No, no, you have two lines of retreat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm sure you want to put it over there, but you could. Yeah, I'm not sure either, I mean, right? But if I, you want to, go for it. I'm yeah, like, I was going to say, that op that opens up a window to me. I, I was, are you sure? <laughs> no, I just, just wanted like, to see what I... you guys are doing. <laughs> yeah. We'll keep it there. Burn all our momentum to send our cavalry up there. <laughs> all right, baggage is good. So it's two for baggage, right? It's two for the old bag. And then uh, the general, yeah? Use him? Yep. All right. 1d6 from both of you. Ooh. Three. Ah. One. Okay. And now the one thing I can't remember. If we're using advanced skirmish rules, I do not believe skirmishing counts. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I'm checking. Yeah, I don't believe it counted last time when me and CT were practicing yeah, with it. Yeah, page 121. However, instead of adding more momentum, the following effects are applied. Okay. There it is. So that's going to hurt us later, but right now I'm like, oh, okay. All right. So then uh, you don't get those four. So that's seven mo for the uh, French. 
And how much for the Austrians? Ten. For okay. So, but the French do have the. Uh, they did win the skirmishing, so they do go first. This is true. Maybe starting like sixteen. And that reminds me, because we're doing a project here, I got to do my special saves anyway. CT message. Sir, a carrier. Message for you, sir. Message for you, sir. All right, going to use one momentum to move. All right, it's only a do 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 force right, movement. Yep. But All remember, right. force movements are limited in size to. Yeah, and they to be the same brigade. All right, right here. Do 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 do. These guys. Got it. Away they go. And these guys can be attached to anybody, right? Uh, no, those guys are attached to their divisions. Oh, uh, who's the second? Who's the fourth? They were set up that way. For heaven's sake, man. Well, they were set up in this area. Uh-oh. Grando is the second... Right. Oh, I see. No, I take that back. It's yeah. It's Grant. It's uh, yeah. Grando is the second, and then either Lawrence or De Stabenrath are the fourth. Oh shoot! Because they were set up over here, so I didn't know they were over on CT side. You, you, you can put uh. them there. That's fine. Put them there. You would have known. It's hardly the biggest deal in the world at this point. Uh, we would have deployed them elsewhere, I believe. Well, no, that's how, because I wanted these closer to you then. This is yours, because then to be, oh, hold on. Yeah, I would yeah. have had them, I would this have deployed way. them already unlimbered. Why? You're on a, You're on the crest of the hill. You're not going to be able to see. No, just on the other side of my guys. You can't. They were in this box. Oh, they were? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think they very, I think Michael very deliberately set you up on the wrong side of the, the hill here. Thanks a lot, Michael. <laughs> All right, so to move this one, I have to, since they're so far away. Well, no, just put him where you wanted him. No, no, he has to be set up in this box, and his unit's up here. <laughs> oh, God. Well, doesn't he have two, though? Oh, he's grand. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, that's a separate. Yep. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, I'm going to use it, though. Uh, let me just see. Unlimbered. I mean, limbered. Yeah, in this case, actually, the colored bases would be awful because even though they're in those divisions, they don't necessarily deploy with them. They make more sense in Shaco, I suppose. Mac Daddy. That's 10 bath widths, right? Yeah. That's okay. Mm -hmm. And then what was it the turn? There wasn't any. Nothing. No. Yeah, no. No, no. No. All right. Anything you like. All right. So that was six. LaSalle don't care. All 
All right. That's done with that one. One That's point. One mile. Keep going. CT. Do you want to use a mill? Yeah, I'll use it for Lorenz's division here. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord, they coming. That's a lot. Um, a lot of Frenchmen. So you said it's 10 inches for the artillery? It's 10 big width, so that'd be 20 inches. Oh, 20, okay. For the gun, yeah. The infantry and mass will move 12 inches. I remember the minute you get into eight inch base widths or eight inches, I mean, I should say, they have a chance. You have to stop, you only go two inches, and they get to take the turn. Even if they can't see me through those trees? That's right, they can't. Oh, it's LOS? I thought it was just with eight inches, period. No, it is eight inches, period. Oh, yeah, I, so I thought. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Which is sort of less and more line of sight and more of there's probably well there's skirmishers all over the place in here. Yeah, they, no, not the skirmies. They've shoved skirmies all the way out. Believe me, you. Sick team message. Oh my God, John! St oh, I just tracked backwards up into the. Uh, I just tracked backwards up into the. Oh, 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 how I hate that so much! Oh, oh yes, I do. This, of course, as those who have watched the channel for a while know, is why I can't stand Carnage of Glory. But I don't like any game that uses them. I never have. Going back to, shoot, Volley and Bayonet sometimes uses them. Some people use them for, actually, the ones I hated the most. And it's a clever rule system. But, oh, my God, Buck Surdu in his Napoleonic set has check them out sometime and check out the labels you got to put on every single base. It's like at this point you're playing chits and counters. Just do it. Set going back on. Yes, responding. Waiting for the French. Wait for the French. <laughs> <laughs> the smell of sausage is wafts from the trees. Like, yeah, have you had time to boil our morning coffee, cook some sausages, you know, fry up some bacon? That's why there's no pig of rice in this map. <laughs> yeah, at least they weren't making you paint it with R and L, Ian, so that you knew, you know. Hey, I gotta step away for a couple minutes. Since we'll just shoot right you in your absence, don't worry. That's fine. Bang, bang. <laughs> I don't know if that came over right, but do you understand what I was saying? I'm, I'm saying? Uh, not quite. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go do what you were going to do. I was The reason why I was I was saying that because of my first comment, what we're, I was going to do. Gotcha. Can uh, artillery shoot over the heads if they're uh, no. on a higher nope. elevation nope. than this nope. one? No, nope. there's nope. no shooting over. No shooting over. They okay. must define the size of shooting over friendly troops. Yeah, this, this angers Sam, I think. I just never, I've never seen it allowed in any of his real sets. Well, and I think his point is, is that unless you're talking positional batteries, you show me a case where it happened. Yeah, especially with black powder weapons, where you're like, hmm, not sure well, about this one, too. Especially when the you can kill men with the wind of the ball. Oh, Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, CT. 
they did a bit more than the American Civil War, but they had. Uh... There were several instances of it recorded at Wagram, at Leipzig, at Aspernessling, and there's a famous one actually at the Siege of Yorktown. Of someone just being killed by the passage of a. Yep. He was concussed to death. Oh, I believe it. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. We're still now, do you understand why? Mac Daddy, was it his, was it his Napoleonic game though? All right, I think I got you on. Raw onions and garlic. I am a fan of, of onions and garlic. Mm -hmm. When these unlimber, they deploy in front of the... Correct. Okay. I don't know if you want to go that far. Maybe like right here. Well, how far until I can shoot off the hill? We're the over the like crest it. already. Yes. Yeah, the the this plays military crest. So. Okay. So the crest is like there-ish. Yep. The other thing is, Michael's very nice about giving us these loaf-sized hills so that we pretty well know. Mm, let's bake them and eat them. Mm, loaf. Mm, bread. Loaf. All right. French then... bread. Ooh. Too many rule sets. I can move all sorts of weird, crazy ways. Yep. Yes. Within reason here, right? Yep. So I can side. It's the times without reason. I can do the sideways shuffle pretty easily. Yeah, right? I sure can. Okay. Move it to the left. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. That one guy. This one company of the 3rd Battalion, 57th Line. Not what I expected. All right, I already paid the mo for it. That's two. Formation change. And that's globular, right? That's globular. Yes, that's globular. <laughs> He's doing Wizard of Oz games. No, and Buck is an awesome guy. I mean, I his gaslight... His gaslight is radically different. Um, I don't know if this is a riff on gaslight or not. I don't know what to do. All right. And now bombard. Let's, who can you see? Yeah. These guys. He can't see anybody. Oh, well, maybe. Why not? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. All right. You got it, champ. Uh, let's go to war. Where do you want to start? We'd be able to angle it like this. See where my line's going? Straight, where it hits both. They bounce, don't they? Not if you're firing from a different elevation. Right. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay, we're going for the... I'm going for the infantry. So you're going to Thank shoot... you, Chrono. I forgot about that. So you're going to shoot at the ninth Grenzers? Yep. The second battalion of the ninth Grints. Very good. I gotta remember if there's a downshift. Yeah, I would have thought so. Target has cover because it certainly does. Um, coming out of them trees. All right. Just looking. At, sorry, was looking at some stuff. Uh, so it's a downshift. Four dice for fives. One hit. 
microphone. Why don't you shoot the other one? Can I see to you? That's yours. I want to I... hit his cannons. Oh. You gotta get a six on that one. Yeah, it's a six. That's another downshift. Yep. Four dice for six. Nothing. All right, so uh, so Ron, you got to uh, one die for a four. Yep. Grenzers come out of the trees and get punched in the face. What the heck? Rude. Rude. <laughs> All right. Um. I'm going to pass it to the Austrians. That's burned down a lot of points. How many you got left? Three. Okay. Austrians! Okay. Unless you object, Mike, I'm going to do some movement over here on my side. That's fine. Okay, I'm going to do a two momentum order movement for uh, Vukasovic. Mm -hmm. Complicated because trees. Yep. Trees sure are complicated. What are trees? We just don't know. <laughs> we try not to judge them. How far can I move in line again? Six, I think. Four. It's four. To eight. Just... Oh, yep, yep. Want to turn the other face, and the cavalry is going to basically zoom. Sixteen inches. Then. Give me eight. And remember, this is a big table. Yep. That's my two there. See, wait, I want to move these guys too, just in case. Is there a forming square in this yep. rule set? Sure okay. is. Sure is. That's a, just a formation change? Correct. All right. Uh, anything you want to do on that side? Before I continue monopolizing this. Yeah. Um, why don't you want me to go ahead and try and move these guys? Yeah, might as well move. get these guys moving. All right. We'll advance to um, Studerheim. It's another two. Yep. And so he can go. They can all go their full distance. It just costs extra amount. Okay. So the whole distance is 16. Is that right? 16 for the cab, 12 for the infantry, I believe. 12 for the... Oh, that's... Okay, I'm sorry. I, I was thinking you moved infantry. Can they canter off to the side? Yep. Yes. 45. Okay. Any, any way you like. You're still good there, so... Yep, it's fine. See if they're eight inches there, Chrono, from the cavalry to the infantry for me, please. No, Great. no, from, from our, from my infantry. Oh. Oh. Yeah. It's just trying it. to keep the... Keep the command chain going. Yeah, at least for now. There we go. Perfect. Hey, guys, I apologize. I'm going to have to step away here in about five minutes or so, maybe ten, um, for about 45 minutes. Uh -oh. oh, okay. Something come up. Nothing. Not not an emergency. Just go help my daughter deal with something real quick. All right. Chrono, Chrono will grab the reins, but you'll come on back when you can. Yep. I'm I'm hanging out for another five minutes or so. Five no or ten. Oh, 
All right, I take it back. I'm dropping now. I'm going to stay in the game, so, but I'll be back. See, See you when you get here. All right, so four mo so far. Yep. Um, I pay. Let me double check something. Okay, I'm going to pay a one to Bombard. Where you got a gun at? Right here. The Light Brigade battery. Oh, look at that. And it's going to shoot at the 4th Division artillery. Got to think that's a five. Four, four, six, actually. Is it for six? Yeah, because you're firing at unlimbered guns, which I believe is a downshift. Uh, yeah. Is it? I thought it was. Yeah, I believe it was like we're trying to. Oh, no, trying to hit. You no, had to, I thought it was. It was it? It's not. Now it didn't matter for Chrono's shot because he didn't roll a five either. Right. Interesting. I thought it was only cover and shooter is shaken. Hmm. See, I thought I thought artillery versus artillery was always a six. That's uh, you might be thinking of the resilience roll. The resilience is ah. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's. It doesn't hurt to check. And nothing for shooting up the hill. Nope. It won't it won't bounce. It just doesn't bounce. He loses all magic bouncing. Uh, flight strike bounce, firepower against all targets, different elevation. Yep. Not obstruction. No. Nope, don't see anything. Yeah, I sure don't. Might be thinking of Blue Shirt, where there is a difficulty, but. Also true. Maybe. So. Uh... Here we go. I'm looking at heavy artillery. Nope, that's it. Nothing there. So it's a five. Four dice for Four. fives. Got one. One die for six. Uh, I almost had it. I go. saw it for a brief mo shining moment. And then no. Yeah, you're right. That's what I was thinking of was the resolve. Um, I think I will pass it back to the French. Alright. No. Alright, uh go ahead, CT move. These boys are going to move in it with a sorry and column. That's even more. That's more. It's, lot. it's lots. It is 10, so 20. Woohoo. It's speeding along. See two mess two messages. AP-15. Mass combat game. Wow. AP-51, I'm telling you, I am trying to figure out how to try to broadcast in 1080p. I can't quite figure it out. I'm streaming, 
1600 by 900 which you would think all right very nice napoleonic looking columns well done Knows another point, uh, not in the face of the enemy, so French can continue. French? Yeah, I'm thinking. Sorry. Sorry, sir. Uh, Chrono, can you give me eight off the, your units here? Sure. Do you intend to get within eight, or are you trying to avoid saying? I'm trying to get within eight. Okay. Um, what is it? After you hit eight, two inches, right? Yeah, it's two inches. Well, two it's inches. two inches or what you have left, whichever is greater. Correct. Or whichever's less, I'm sorry. Yeah, whichever is left. <laughs> yeah, uh, whichever is less. So in three, you should have six away, inches away since you had a lot of movement left. Yeah, that's what we usually say is that basically it's a six. I also moved on an angle, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what's the distance for charging again? Eight inches. Eight inches. It is the eight inches, okay. Mm -hmm. You have to see your target. But you got to, right. Right. Then you can't do that in the woods. Yeah, wood, wood charges are going to be at two inch range. Eight's right there. So here again, yeah, there you you go okay i'd like to activate uh beaver i don't know how he's gonna sing secret weapon huh secret weapon no secret. no <laughs> my ears no, it's a, how it's streaming to you is dependent on your bandwidth. YouTube is going to tell you what it can do. I know this can be received in 720 because I am sitting here. The thing is, I'm trying to tell this bloody thing to stream in 1080p. Well, then tell it. Stream in 1080p. I did. I said it. And it didn't listen. <sighs> Just like a child. Disobedient git. By the way, you can keep going too. We're out of mo. Yeah, I know. I'm aware. Oh, now he's now he's gonna gorge know. on the mo. Nom nom nom. Mo gorging. Excuse me one sec. So let's see. 
doing math. I'll spend two more. Maybe we'll move activate uh, Kaiser. Okay. I will. It's well. I won't say never because I intend to play a lot of LaSalle, but it's going to take me a long time to get used to troops moving that fast in trees. Yeah, compared to some of the other games we've played, where you're crawling. Or compared to Black Powder, where formed troops can't even march in trees. I don't, I don't know if I've played a Black Powder game with you guys yet. No, I don't think so. Ooh, just out. So close. And then I will bombard again. From where? Uh, this gun here. Had that call. Way down there. Uh, there's nobody behind him. And now we get nope. a shift. So uh, four dice for threes. Yeah, I think. Who's firing? Where? This guy. Four hits. All four. Ooh, this could suck. Um, so There's four dice. So whoever, the, uh, yeah, that's you. That's four dice for fours. Three. Mm -hmm. I didn't even see that cat in over there. Yeah, I thought it was in the trees. Whoops. It is just outside of the trees. It has no line of fire to the to its right, but because uh, of the trees, but it doesn't line of fire forward. Got it. Um, I have, I have one mo left, so. It I seems a shame it. not to spend it. I know, but I'm not sure I have enough. Uh, I will move the three cores. How do you position that, Reed? That's six, seven. No, oh, but there are troops in front of him, so I will just uh, move him onto the bridge. Okay. And stop. Well... around them. So that's like seven inches. Get out of the friggin' road. <laughs> yeah, tell that to an entire brigade. <laughs> and that is it for my mouth. That's it. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I believe that just takes us to some cleany uppy parts. Yep. No reinforcements, no markers, no victory to be determined. That is turn two late. We are on turn two. Hooray. Um, all right. Check and see how much damage you did to yourself in terms of, uh, or how you might have improved yourself in terms of your skirmish. I think it's the same as it was last turn. Yep. For, for, you're both the same? All right. Yep. yep. Uh, doo, 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 doo. Now we go through our list. Uh, brigades on the table hasn't changed any. Mark that. I'm at five. I'm and at you, both, you both have your baggage. That's two more. You both going to use your generals that way? I am. French? Um, yeah. One for you. And French, please one. roll. 
three for Ooh, you. There we go. That's a little more generous than last time. And now, Fountain of Dice. Did you have the one from the general, Ron? Uh, we got three from the general. Gotcha. Yeah. That seems like even I'm... fewer than last time. Yeah, it's still five. I'm waiting and waiting and waiting. Look, they have a three get as many dice as I do. That's a lot. Twelve to five, looks like. Yeah, twelve. Advantage of seven. Are there people you can see that you could skirmish? They have to be infantry or unlimbered guns. And they have to be in range. Um, I'm not sure if line of sight matters. I think it just has to be long within eight base width. You've got to be able to draw that line. How do you draw a line if you can't see? Draw a skirmish line. The skirmish line is probably a straight line or an eighth base width on the center point of any of your units that is contributing to skirmishing. To a center point of one enemy foot unit, it may not pass through a different enemy unit of any sort. Huh. The line is decreased to the front of your unit. It may oh, pass then? through any kind of close terrain. Blah, blah, blah. No line of sight needed. It just needs to be within eight base widths and not within right. eight base widths of cavalry. Well, then you're, you, you are a gentleman, sir, because you know you're going to get skirmish whammied. Yep. Who gets whammied? I imagine my grenzer is supposed to get whammied. That guy? Also the other guy? Yes. Yep. Who else? I don't think anybody else is in range. Okay. Or in front of them, anyway. Right. All right. We obviously had no basis for Huzaz French. How many... Uh, just curious. How many mode did you wind up with? Nine. Nine. Much better number. All right, French, you're, you're off to the races. In fact, I'm taking a picture of that. Getting skirmished. I don't know, Dallin, are to you? Yeah, I'm sending a message to CT. You send it to everybody. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> Hooray! Gotta... Intercept of right. communicate. Well, guess what? We'll just do it then. Hey, Achilles. We'll just... You guess that? We'll do it then. Bombard. Hey, you can go first. I'm going to go try to hit his artillery. All right. Bang, bang, pow. Wait, what are you doing? Bombard. Ah, there we go. Well, we now know that that is... Uh... Does that guy got cover? Does he, does he, does he? The guy in the woods? Yeah, four dice for fives. Got three hits. Ooh. Ooh. Nice, Ron. Well, yeah, well, that's what happens, though. Now you need sixes, I believe. Three dice for six. Nothing. Ooh, rough. Counter battery fire not as effective. No. What do you want, Ron? The arty or the cavalry? Cav. The Four dice for eight. Eight. Do I? Which one am I hitting? The front? Can I reach the front or I have to hit the back one? Let me see. You're going to have either of them. Take the front. Four dice for fours. One Four. dice for fives. Nope. Ugh. Boom, boom. That was a bombard for a grand total of one point. No, if you wanted to, if you want to defeat the skirmies, you have to fight the French. This is known. 
All right. Uh, makes you fight the move order. Go ahead, CT. Is that how that goes? Yeah. It came out of our Shaco game where those skirmies got pasted at uh, Catra Bra. I know you get the skirmish by touching the fish. Yeah, you get the skirmies when you touch the fish. When you get the skirmies, you fight the French. And if you get the skirmies, you have to fight the French. That's true. Yeah. Not a complication because he is in March column. Can you give me eight inches, Ron? Or Chrono, thank you. Got a long way to go. Just remember, they have to be within eight inches to charge you, so. At the beginning of their move, right? Yes. It takes you two turns to really set up a charge. I don't think you can get there in one move anyway. So, for reference, it's like right there. Those are some nasty fish. We first discovered them at Leipzig. Ah, oh, yes, Leipzig. Ask anyone who is there. CT, Ron. Mm hmm. Velker. I mean, I can't. That game was so short. <laughs> you need to shut up. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, it averaged three hours over 13 episodes, so it's easily a 40-hour game. All right. How was that movie? It lasted three days. Mm -hmm. All right. That was another mo. Not in the face of the enemy, so the French can continue. We are going to do another movement. Right. These guys over here. Mm -hmm. Force move. Two yes. points on this one. Right. You move to right creeping 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 i mean that kind of represents how combat in woods was in this era oh sure you're kind of blindly groping forward until you finally well you know that, well the thing is you know they're out there right but you don't know if it's their front their back their side a skirmisher you don't know if it's the baggage train although someone puts those back in the woods, it's kind of like, what, the, what are you doing, man? These guys are all looking at Okay, Tommy, I. this is the sort of thing that encourages Dalinor. And nobody wants that. <laughs> sure we do. Nobody wants that. Because I'm pretty sure Dalinor has said we should do that. I have several times. <laughs> I can't imagine what the, the dice would be. That would be like a thousand dice. My God. Or at least a few hundred. <sighs> Give me the eight inches off of this guy. If you would be so kind, Chrono. Oh, sure. I was just double checking something in the rules. Why? What did I do wrong now? Nothing. I was just looking at some of your future reference. I have to find the corner of this guy. Hold on. You can't see it in the trees. Right there. There you go. The two inches on from there. Right about there, yeah. 
an image right for him. Hold on. So yeah, like another inch, basically. Give or take. All right. Uh, do you want to steal it? I do. Fine, then steals it. You must steal it. I will. I will first pay two mo to activate this brigade in the back here. We heard there are Frenchmen in the trees. Mm, yes. Uh, another one for the heavy position battery. Mm -hmm. No complication for the river? He did. He I paid, paid two. Yeah, oh, he paid for two. Oh, oh he's in. Okay. Oh, we lost Delinar. Oh. I'll be back one sec. I just something happened. Got it. It's all good. Okay. What happened? I was I'm testing an experiment. I'm I'm using OJ as an experimental subject. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna play one to activate these two as a force. You give me eight from the uh, let's see who I want eight off of. Uh, give it to me off the, uh, first battalion over there. You try and be within, eight, like, at eight, or? I'm trying to get within. I'm just, uh, rotating for the face before I... Move. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Red's pointing out that if we did Leipzig, it, the next morning the collapse of the internet would be based on a group called the Saturday Night Fights. The uh, map is done by my wife, who shows up from time to time in the chat, and it is based on uh, a map by the uh, inimitable, irreplaceable Michael Hopper for the uh, Shaco rule set. Michael's research and scenario design is awesome. Okay. You may do which interrupt. I yes. should think so. Uh, we will do a... <laughs> Formation change. We will, do at a, we will do a stare at the horses thing. I feel like you want me to change my formation, Ron. I'm sensing this. Oh, we see horses, so I think uh, a no. square is called. No, fire. no square. Don't go to square. Now you want? Oh, you want me to go to mass, right? Either mass or a line, right now. Can he 
see the horses or is that hill messing with them? Man, that's close. The crest is, he's on the down side of the crest. Yeah. Right? So you can see him. He can see him. Okay. All right. Tell me if I completely mess this up. He's going to go to line. Nope, you did fine. I know, I know. Flag on the right. Yay. You remembered. Because we're not animals. All right, anything else you say I missed, Ron? Nope. It's in the face of the enemy. I will interrupt. I'm going to pay one for a formation change. Or whereabouts? We're officially in a big battlefield situation, so I need to know. Aha. Just because I like and Brighton. Then, Go ahead. To surprise of no one, I'm going to bombard. Mm -hmm. Begin where? I'm going to start with this brigade battery at the same target from last time. A tougher target this time. It's uh, only four for four this time instead four of four dice for three. Four for fours, yeah. Two. Still not two. And now two for two for fours. No. Nothing. Uh, positional battery will also shoot at the same target. Which is only three for four, three but it is a heavy. Fours. Only one. one. One for four? Nothing. No. Dang. Pop guns. Tell me about it. Hey, I'll shoot the same target as well from the light brigade battery over here. They got that shot, do they? Yep, sure do. Four for five. Two hits. Two for four. Dang, nothing. Wow. That's a lot. Okay, of well, uh, I have one mo left. I'm going to hold on to it. That's, that's a pass. Alright, CT. I'm going to give you one move, Mo. You want to have these guys facing? Uh, perhaps. You want me to face that cab, correct? That would be <laughs> correct. I'm only going to do it with one of these guys.
Um, is, I forget, inner penetration? Can I move through the guns or I gotta move around? Uh, it costs extra. Hey, Daniel. The complication? To do what now? Go through the guns. Complication? Uh, yes. Is inner, inner penetration a complication? It is. Yes. Yes, unless the guns are, um, limbered. Unless... Unless the gun doing, unless the unit doing the inner penetrating is uh, limber during march column. That's it. There you have it. All right then. So, their mass so it's twelve inches minus two for complication, right? No, no. Uh, you, you, just, you just spend more mo. Oh, okay. You get oh, all, right. Yeah. You get all your movement. Oh, uh, I'm gonna go around them then, Ron. Yeah. We want to need the mo, right? Correct. Daniel Moreno, pleasure to have you. Oh, wait, they're moving into. Wait, so they are just going to be limited. Know what you do? Move them this way. Yeah, and then move them forward. And then move them forward two inches. Can I get that eight again, please? Sure. Thanks. I say for the millionth time, I love the fact in Sam's rules that he answers my questions explicitly. Okay, that's it for movement. Do you want to inter inter uh, take it back or no? Nope. All right. We will volley. Oh, I can no. pew pew now? Yeah. I'm, I'm back. Hey, Mike. I uh, You are not in the game, so come on back in the game. Yep, I see that. Come on back. Thought maybe you got a sub for me or something and had to nope. kick me to did not make room. No shot there. They have it. They have it. They these two do not, but these three do. I think we're here on the other side. So where do you want to start, CT? Let's go. Uh, yeah, let's go right to left. I don't know if he. Yeah, he he's gone. Yeah. That's uh, two. <laughs> Suddenly the head draws an utter blank. It's fours, yeah? Yes. Yeah, two dice for fours and shifts. You said two? Two for four, yep. Nothing. Pew pew. Let me get my uh, makas. That's uh, one, two, three, four, six for four. One. They're not then. They're kind of nervous about that cavalry. It feels like. Are they in range? No. These two should not be. No. No. These three are them. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's everybody. Six for four. Two. Two. Two for four. One. 
one more. Two for four. One. Back over this way. One for five. Nope. Three for five. Or sorry, four for five. You got one more. Uh, I gotta give you one more. That's one hit. Two. Two hits. Most valuable player. No, I actually got something. Yeah. Okay. I didn't think there was any other volleying, right? No. Okay. Yeah, they're too far away in the woods. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that allows interruption if they're inclined. Uh, I have none. Okay. Oh, Ron, you got to join the team again so we can talk. All right, uh, moving. What was moving in mass again? Should be 12. 12, right? Yeah. Yeah, that, that battery could have done better. Oh, all my batteries could have done better. Yeah, there's they're just not hit. They couldn't just try to convert it. Missed the field goal. How do you think I feel with three sixes? Daniel, you know you are always welcome. Alrighty, that's one more. I pass it on. I also pass. That's it then. Oh no, that's right. It's got to come back as a blank pass. Run. Okay. Um... Oh wait, no, that wasn't on an interrupt, right? No, that was a blank no. pass. Oh yeah, that was a blank pass. Yep. Blank pass to blank pass ends game ends the turn. So that's it. The game's over. <laughs> game's over. No, wow. that's, not, that's not true. Uh, nothing else to do. That's three. So now we go back. Who has messed with their skirmishing? Uh, I have not. We right. did. They added like a million more. We got all the skirmies now. How many more? Eighteen. Six. Eighteen more. Holy cats. Rest in peace. Well. It, well, interestingly enough, so the skirmishing made him not... These go away now. They do. Yeah. I have a hunch they're going to get some more, but we'll see. Um, all right, so let's go through the drill. Brigades are the same. Mark them. Baggage is the same. Two more. General, you're going to use them, gentlemen? I am. Yes. One die. Two for Chrono. Ah, uh -huh. uh, one for the French. Swung both ways, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. All right, so that sets your skirt. That sets your mo. Uh, I see that the Allies are going to have nine French. How many are you going to have? Seven. It's nine to seven. Now that's interesting. All right, and hit the dice font. got more that time 11 not sure it's gonna be enough though is that a tie we got 11 11 to 11 oh a tie amazing 
French keep the initiative. Uh, but no skirmishers. French. All right. First movement. Formation change. Go ahead, CT. No, oh, do I have to? Uh, yeah, you see what's you don't have you? to. You don't have to, but. They're little horsies, though. They're just it's little horsies. Yeah. You it's see the bonuses like... for being out of formation for them? Actually, no, I haven't. I Minus not... four for you. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. You can hit these two guys, and this guy could hit this line and both of these guys up on the hill. Yep, all right. So how do I spin these into square, Jim? You make them a square. Yeah, like you know. Don't you even. You make them into an octagon. So you put one guy like this, one guy I mean, like this. One I'll guy make which, square. Which, which, guy, which guy do you want like. to do it? All right. I got a couple. got me screwed up how did i get you screwed up you're doing it right i know I, I just there it is how did i screw you up i don't know you put the whammy on me the whammy the whammy is the worst man the deadliest whammy Gotta say, it's LaSalle that gives me the pictures I like the best. These big sweeping battlefields. It's like, what's going on over there? Oh, so the whole of Christendom is forming square. So they are. Well, you may take it. I believe you will. You have anything you want to do before I do something that might trigger an interrupt? I don't know if OJ heard you. I'm sorry, I did not. Uh, you have anything you want to do before I might trigger an interrupt? Uh... I mean, you could move these guys down here. I, you know, I totally forgot. You all rolled a total of how many skirmish dice? 87. 87 40, plus... 43. 87 plus 43. That's 100, you rolled 130 dice and tied. Plus. Nice little activate these guys and move them up. All right. We can do that. Okay, that's two. Let me get 12 inches. Just stay yep. outside of eight. I think I would just go maybe like to here, try to use the hill a little bit. Sure. Some advantage. It is an advantage. If I remember correctly. Let me double check that. I don't know. Well, it is a, for cannons, but. I didn't know if it was. Against cannons, I should say. I think, David, you've heard me. I, I think, Daniel, you've heard me say this. I don't know what it is. David Brown can't write rules that work with my head. You might as well push him up a little bit. I don't understand what it is. It's my fault. It is my fault. I just, I have O Group. I have uh, General Darme. I have General De Brigade. None of them work in my head. I'm sorry. Chrono, what were you saying? You might as well push him up under the hill for now. Push him where? Uh, where you have him right now, like along there. Oh, okay. And then. Go ahead and move the uh, the, the uh, twenty yeah, also. You can either put them in reserve or bring up online either way. Yeah, 
Uh, no, Tommy, they were actually rolling 87 versus 43, which is the equally crazy part. Okay, like that. that's that. Yep. yep. Uh, I'm yep. now going to burn another one to uh, do a force activation for uh, Vukasevich. Ooh, way up here. <laughs> awesome. Let me double check something. No, it's absolutely the re it's the writing of the rules. That's exactly it. The way Sam writes rules, I get them instantly. David consistently his rules bounce off my head. Now, there's a difference between academic level and just being from my head written wrong. They're just okay. I, you may interrupt if you wish. I do. Bombard. All right. What you bombarding? His cannon. Oh, okay. Uh, so this one over here in the trees. Yep. Okay. From where there? Four for five. One. Same target over here. Yep. Four for four. Sorry, four for five. He's in the trees. Nothing. One for six. Nope. Totally opposite what we needed. Mm -hmm. But bombardment does not cause interruption. Continue. Uh, is there anything you want to do, CT? Um, and the thing is, I'm looking for the next set of rules up for Chain of Command, because I love Chain of Command. We've played a ton of it. I'm just curious to play that company level game. It should be O group, but I can't get my head around it. I can't stand Flames of War. Um, that's a, it's but don't funny. you sit for that? What's that? But don't you sit for that? Fl Flames of War? Yeah, you say you can't stand it, so you gotta sit for yeah, it. Yeah, you gotta sit anyway. You can't stand it, so sit down, son. Is that a plumber joke? Hey, oh, it's a dad joke, is what it is. It's a dad joke, yeah. Now, plumber joke. Wow, well, we, it's I couldn't tell you a plumber joke online right now. And you know, and it's funny, Daniel. It's it's not even so much the writing as it is somebody needed to go in there and edit them into rules as opposed to a conversation about a set of rules. Are you still thinking, CT? Yeah, I am. Yeah. Yeah. What's the rally order do again? Gets you, it potentially can get rid of um, the permanent everything, no. but no, it, no, no, no. It gets rid of a temporary damage. You run the risk of it becoming permanent. Right. I mean, the only thing I can do, Ron, is move up within for these guys, anyways. Volley range of his horse. You could do that, or do you, do you want to try to rally this guy? Can he move again later? Yep. No. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, rally, yeah. You can, you rally yeah, because first. it's all different things. It's long oh, as right. he hasn't done it before. So you do everything I mean, once. It's we can you. we can save that for the end in case we need it, in case we don't need it. 
Okay, because moving him up, you're going to be in cannon range. You know they're going to fire at him. Oh, right. He hasn't done that yet. Yeah, he's Correct. been picking on that guy. Yep. He's just mean. No, I think he's going to hit the guys in square, right? Doesn't uh, he get a... Well, these guys are just behind the ridge, so he really doesn't have a shot with them. No. Oh, they... they, this one here, yes. And then these guys here, probably. Unless you move in front of them. Well, that that would be the reason why I'd want to move first. And then All get, right. And then he gets Go bounced. Ahead. He gets bouncy, but at less of a chance, right? It's yeah. just sixes. Bounce does not get affected by shifts. Yeah. Because what's looked... the shift for square? Uh, it's a one shift. It's just one? Yep. Yeah. I have looked at fireball forward. Uh, it's essentially chain of command. I don't right, see so it. I don't see it buying me anything over chain of command. Matter of fact, I bought fireball forward to be clear. Yeah, because rally's a force, so I can, depending on what his cannons do, I can maybe take more advantage of that. I'm so movement's a force too, so. Yeah, let me move. All right. All right, mode paid. Give me eight inches off these knuckleheads. Thank you. Uh, oh, never mind. They're SARS. Never mind. I was going to say something, but then I realized who I was talking about. I'm, I'm going to give you a huge amount of credit, Chrono, for pinning down a division with two <laughs> with two, but with two squadrons of horse. Oh, Black Powder's got it ten times worse. Black Powder's absolutely priestly having a, this jolly conversation with his boys down, you know, down to pub with his boys. And it's like, yeah, I was trying to play a game here. What was your intention? You're saying I shouldn't have ordered it? I love... It, the funny thing is, I love the game. I, I think it's fine. Oh, I, I really do. I love it for Colonial, actually. I, you know, I can't decide if I like it or the men who would be kings better. But I want to back this guy back up. I need him to link up with him still. You didn't have uh, big bloody battles on your on your list yesterday, Jim. It's not among my favorite games. It's certainly not in my top ten. Eight inches uh, right I, there. I, I, I'm moving forward more. It's not to say I don't like it. I really do. And what's exciting is uh, one of their big guys is going to be putting out a book of Napoleonic scenarios. Ooh. Uh, mm -hmm. See, and that's the difference between a top 10 list and a, and a like list, right? Yep. Right. Something can not make your top 10 list and you can still love it to death. Yep. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. You can interrupt. I believe we will. Yeah. Shock and surprise. Uh, I believe we will uh, begin by bombarding. Uh, now, now you heard them deliberate. Who's who will get the bombardment? Um, well, I think, I think it has to be this guy right here because all the bouncers are going to hit the guy in the back. Mm -hmm. Let me draw some lines. Yeah, I mean that's 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 it there. Yep. So you got three. So let's start with the light brigade. Battery with firepower four to hit five. Four for five, exactly, like the man said. One. One. And, and in the bouncer. back, four for six. One. Heavy battery, uh, shooting, heavy position battery, shooting three for four. Two. And three for six. And then four for four from the brigade battery. Two more. Ooh. Ooh. I definitely that bouncer. Damn. Uh, nice. On front. Five, five for, for four. four. They're shaking.
are indeed. And three on the back line? Mm -hmm. Nothing. That's about what I was hoping for. Getting a shaken result, I would think. Can I bring my markers over? Where are my markers at? That's the thing about Tabletop Simulator. Okay, um... Hey, Mike? Yeah? It might be worth pulling these guys back to just outside of 8 inches. These guys? Yeah, and then pull the cavalry over a bit, just to annoy them. Okay. We can do that. Well, actually... Oh, yeah, because you're moving back. Okay. Yep. If you're withdrawing from outside of 8, you get your full move. I can just go straight back. I don't have to face them or anything. Yeah. Let's pull them straight back to outside of 8. This guy on the little right, the left has to go back a bit farther. Yep. Go ahead. Measure it on out. There you go. And move the cavalry back. You said also. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I bring them. I bring them. Keep them within eight, just to make their lives yeah, harder. Go ahead and measure. How many hammers we can? They can't charge to, in the I woods. Can, I can move two. They can only move two within eight, though. I'm sorry. Say that again. They can only move two if they stay within eight. So just pull them back like two inches. Are they going to be out of command range though? No, just within. Okay. But it still there slows these guys down, so you know I'll take it. Yep. Uh, let's see. All right. Well, we'll take the interrupt. Yep. Moving. Okay. Whereabouts? Everywhere. Stop it. Uh, I took uh, two. So I'm moving these guys. Can I get eight inch, inches off that one corner guy, Chrono? Uh, what, of this guy? Oh, no, okay. the other. No, the other one. The one that that, that I'm near facing. Oh, that one. Yeah, okay. yeah. Thank you.
They act like they don't want to come and play. I know. Oh, we do, but not with you. You're not very neighborly. Yeah, I know. Tell me about it. All right, uh, that was inside of you, so. Uh, I think we will interrupt. And I will, I think, want to move up this one of these batteries. So I'll pay two. Well, I will not because I he just has momentum. So I will pay one. Oh, look at that. I'm enjoying in this game, and the, I think the only other game where I saw it was in the small game that uh, Ron and CT are playing, where Mo really gets to be a pinch. Okay. Um, you got two left. Uh, I can't think of anything. I, I will pass. CT, volley fire, or I should say fire. Okay. Volley. Yep. Just these two. All right. This is uh, two dice, unfortunately, for fives. Because you shaken. Nothing. It equals five. One plus four is five. Two dice for for fours. Of course. They, they don't want nothing to do with the horses. And apparently not. Like, like, no, thank you. No, no. Pew, 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 pew. Any other volleys? I don't think. No. Okay. Uh, we can interrupt. Don't want to do that. Um, I will interrupt and activate these three of the force activation. Give me eight off those Frenchies. Mostly these two in the bottom. The flank, she is refused. And that'll be two. Obviously, in the face of the enemy, French. Do you want to move these guys? Or do you want to wait there, CT? What do we got left? Is this our last one? Yep. Yep. You only, can move, to the, you only can move up to the edge of the woods. Yeah, I mean, it's either that or I rally this guy. Go ahead. Do the rally. All right. He is with an eight, so we will have a hard time of it. Oh, yeah. How, what would I have to roll? Four instead of three. Yeah, it would have been a three or better. Now it's a four or better. I mean, I got to do it because he's just going to get murdered by those cannons if he doesn't. Go ahead. So it's uh, four dice. No, it's uh, five. He's down to one. Can he get Can he get that last one back? Yeah, yeah. as long as it's not permanent. It's, it's not, not permanent. Oh, that's right. As long as it's not a permanent. That's right. Five it's dice. It's blue curve. Where you yeah, it's, that's one. right. Five, the five dice for uh, fours are better. Both by saying must have. Got three back, but two are permanent. Three back and two are permanent. No longer shaken. Got it. Well, we're done. So are we. All right. Wow. Okay. Turn four plowing right along uh did you all uh, let's do our brigades same number of brigades nobody lost brigades baggage is still intact you get that using your generals 
I am. Well, we are. French? Yes. Keep swinging back and forth. It is. One and three. Anybody mess up their brigades that, such that their skirmishers are different? Uh, square doesn't count, right? As Correct. Square? Square count. Yeah. Correct. So we lost 15. Mm. That's a bunch. Whenever you're ready, make the dice fountain happen. Boom. That is less than I wanted. Uh, we only have six. Uh oh. Sixteen? Oh, cow. Ooh, wow, that's a lot. Ten skirmishers. Seventeen, yeah. Potential targets are these two and these three, I think. He's out of eight. Is it eight or 16? It's, I thought it was 16? It's 16 inches. It's eight base widths. Oh, okay. So, so how many do we got? 10. But you can only put one per unit. So I think all three of these guys and both of these guys over here could get it. Yeah. Okay, you cannot so, go on So a skirmisher on this guy here. Yes. Glad I decided to dress my lines last turn. Can this guy get it? This guy, yeah. Where's this guy uh, get? Where's this guy getting it from? That's uh, come from the center of a unit. So. Yep, he's got it. And this guy. It's and this guy over it's, here. It's centered to any point on the front. So. Yeah, I think this guy. That's a lot of skirmishers. Yep. And you know what? The bizarre thing is, that makes perfect sense. That's where they'd be. Yep. Love it. French, you won again. Away with you. <laughs> Let's clear the dice, though. <laughs> All right, first we'll do a bombard. Try and knock that cannon out again. Okay. Which one's first? I'll go first. This one here. Fourth. Oh, not the fourth division. Second division. Four for five. One, one hit. And the other one is four for five as well. Two. One of you. Two for six. So close. Ah. Nope. So close. Next. Yeah, disgusting. CT, I don't know if you saw a message. Yeah, I'm sending one back.
what is it to be? Yes, we like the advanced skirmishing rule. All right, yeah. Formation change. All right. Global. All right. Uh, CT, real quick, I'm going to text you something else. Yep. Oh, wait a minute. I suppose I should do my due diligence and save here. So it's up to you. All right. We're still sticking with the formation change. Groovy. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to switch these guys out of square. Shock and surprise. Nope, there is merely a basic skirmish and an advanced skirmish. You are witnessing the advanced skirmish. And they're going to go into square. You don't say. Face of the enemy. Yeah, I got that. I want it. Yep. I gotta put him in square. Are you moving these guys into mass down here? Because I'll do it for you. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. And I'm gonna put the flag on the left. If you do, I'll spawn Austrians. Yeah, and be careful if there's any fences. If you destroy his fences, he'll delete your guys. It's true. This has been seen. I deleted a whole tank. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> Achilles, that is not charitable. That is not charitable. There are often three rules. The basic rules, the Jim O rule, and the actual rules. Damn. <laughs> Savage tonight. Red, Red, however, is calling for not merely basic, not merely advanced, but now ludicrous skirmishing. Oh, boy. <laughs> I don't know. I, th I think 10 skirmishers is pretty ludicrous. Now, now let's be honest, Jim. The only rule you change is the table size. That's well. That's my big one. Yeah. Without without changing the, the figure size. I, I would like to we would like to interrupt. Of course. I, I are you done formation changing? Yes. Ah, very good. Then yes, you may uh, interrupt away, Sarah. Are there anything you'd like to do before you trigger interrupt, Mike? Uh. Da -da 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 -da. Should I bring these guy? The 12th in a little bit closer. That will trigger yeah. interrupt if you get within eight. I'm sorry? That will trigger an inter interrupt if you get within eight. That's true. And plus, they will get to shoot at you once. With this. You gotta just bring the 20th and the uh, 38th forward a little bit more. Yeah, I think so. Don't get within eight, but get and bring them up. No. Right? No, but crowd them in there some more, right? Yeah. So that's two. That's. Well, they're in woods, so that's... Yeah. So is that counted as one brigade, though, right? Yeah, so that's going to be two mo. There you go. Perfect. Yep, that'll work. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Ron. Um, I'm going to interrupt on this one. Well, no, I shouldn't. Uh, I'm going to activate this battery, who's in... And he's going to go through these guys, because he's actually limbered, so he can do that.
And I think this will trigger an interrupt, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to activate. Right. Uh, gotcha. And I'm going to activate Lukasovich. You give me eight off those two squares. Hello. How are you? Doing pretty okay. Just let me shift this guy slightly, but. Am I too close? Uh, you're supposed to be six, right? Yeah, I'm about like a half inch, like 2.2 .2 inches. Let me adjust. There you go. No, there yeah, you. that's fine. Okay, I'll do it. Okay, you may interrupt if you wish. We wish. Go ahead, CT, do movement. All right. Tied down entire brigade. <laughs> yep. All right, they get to interrupt. Okay. I would like to bombard. All right. From where? Uh, all three of my guns here. I'm just square. saying, where, where do you want to start? You're not going to get many doubles interest. I don't think you're going to get any, actually. No, but I do get a shift, so I'll take it. You do. Four for fours. Uh, boo. One. Uh, then I think three for threes from the heavy battery. Uh, you're also, you're targeting the same thing? Yes. Just put that there. And this gun back here. The heavy position battery, three for three. Yep. Two more. And then brigade battery, four for three. And five for four. Two. That will shake him again. That was the hope.
Then I will pay one point to rally. Give me a second here. Uh, I'm getting a unity update. You're crashing again. Yep, there he goes. All right, who are you gonna try to rally? Uh, these hustlers back here. To be two for three. Two for three, yeah. Who lost one? Okay. And I think we'll pass. You want to wait to do that later, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think okay, so. Okay, we'll pass them. CT message. Uh oh, they're messaging back and forth in the middle here. What? Whoa. What's up? Yes. All right. Move order then. All right. Yep. I'm going to have to spend two, though. It may get complicated. Again, it may not, actually. Thank you, Chrono. Do you want me to make it complicated or not? Yes, I want you to get in as close as you can. Okay. And the Spaceballs conversation continues in the chat. Very good. I think it's being led by Brant, isn't it? Well, that would be appropriate because it doesn't involve games. Right. Oops. What's the doodle? <coughs> Can I get that eight again, please? Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, that's fine. Thank you. Sorry about there. So you get up to like nine three. Here they come. It's right, right there. So you do six. Now. True has started it, but you finished it. Referees always catch the guy that fights back. <laughs> As a soccer person, you ought to know that, Brant. Holy cow, have those trees become a scrum. Waiting for the trees to come alive, like in uh, Lord, Lord of the, the Rings. Rings. Yeah. <laughs> Ents, right? Yep. Gotta do it. Okie dokie. Is that right, Smokey? Austrians. One sec. 
you know, stepping back from this a little bit, my wife is getting really good at drawing hills. They look very nice. Um, I think we will. Hmm. Actually, you might as well do that now, maybe. Do you want to do that other movie you're talking about? Yeah, yeah, if you Let's don't do have that. anything else. I have nothing right. else right now. So who? Activate Stutterheim. Stutterheim. Uh, over there? Over here on our right. Okay, those, well, first of all, you kept those guys close enough? Yes, you yep. did. Very good. 16, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. They're going on a foraging mission. They're and... probing the flanks. Should I do anything with the infantry? You could push them up. They get a chance to shoot it. Yep. With, the, but they're you could. Okay, as well you know. as you activate the mic, if that's what you're doing, they get to shoot at you. So are both these guys going first and second well, battalion of the twelfth grade? They're outside the. They're outside eight inches, right? The skirmishers on them, though. Yeah, you got, they got scurvy. Oh, gotcha. Uh, now nah, we can just leave them here for right now. Okay, then we are finished with that move. And I think we will pass because that was not in the face of the enemy. No, it was. Oh, no, it wasn't. He he was out no, of that range. Was not, that right. was not in face of the enemy. So this this is right. A pass. So that's why I, that's why I'm saying I am passing. Okay. Oh, okay. Sorry, did not mean to make that self misunderstood. I'm moving okay. this unit. Yeah, you're you're free up there. You're not within. There has long been talk of them doing the Korean War, um, much and the Vietnam War for that matter. I mean, all all I know is everybody wants Correct, CT. Everybody's waiting to see their market garden. Oh, who's that for? Uh, chain of command. Chain of command. I mean, doing chain of command for Korea wouldn't be too difficult to homebrew it as it is now. Achilles got a yellow card in a game he wasn't even in. Well done. That That takes doing, my friend. My beloved wife, who is one of the most mild-mannered people you'll ever meet, I've always felt got within six inches of a yellow card every time she watched Felker play soccer. Oh no! no my she's... daughter and my daughter and her fiance ref soccer tournaments on the weekends. I bet they have stories. Oh yeah. I did. Parents some... are out of control. I did some yeah. refing for AYSO back in high school, and thankfully, I never had anyone that bad i had um you know those alpha parents who were just thought they knew the game didn't know the game and my go-to was i would just call the coaches in and say because they were all super competitive i say well you're forfeiting the game if the parents don't s calm down and the parents couldn't handle that and they some of them would just leave but that was one of my best threats to get them to calm down yeah all right we're next point we'll volley of fire Volley fire. How, how did I know? <laughs> I, this this little okay corral they got going on. I like the boss was just sort of sitting here going, hey, hey, how's it going? Hey, guys, what's going on? What you doing? Good Lord. Two for four starting at the right. One. Mm -hmm. It's going to be one. One for yep. four. Two. Uh, this guy here is going to get one for five. Oh, missed them. Sorry. Two for four. Dang, hot dice tonight. Heating up anyway. One for five. Oh! It's been rough until right now. Well, I still have to roll to actually do yeah, anything. Yeah, I was going to say, you still have it. And that's in range. Two for four. Six. All right.
right. Four, Can five. you make it pay? Six for five. How to make ducks pay. One. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, better than nothing, I guess. Better than a sharp stick in the eye. Them guys are nasty. The dice are as not with us as they were with us last week, Ron. They're, I know. They are fickle. Fickle. Mm -hmm. All right, that All was right, volley. No other volley. No other volley. That's All his right. range. So over uh, to the Austrians. I like the formation change. All right. Where about? This battery. Oh, look at that. And that's it. Pass. Friend. I don't think I don't think there's anything else we can do. No. Pass. Yep. Yep. End. All right, that's end turn. Five. Turn five. Rocking and rolling, people. Love it. Can you try rolling these this fountain once? You can do. Feel free to do it this turn. All right. Uh, so we've got uh, everybody's got their brigades. Everybody's still got their baggage. You're gonna use your generals. I am. Roll it. All right. Yep. I'll take two. two. Well, not that, but that's okay. Ah, one. One for the oh, French. Oh, I'm sorry. I yep, rolled the wrong dice. Yep. Let's clear that because uh, yeah. we got to check. Yep. Do the. Uh, the Austrians do anything to change their skirmishing? We did not. French, did you? Yes. Yes. Uh, what, what did we have last time? This one? This one. We were 15 short last time, I think, but I only have two in square this time. So we're only six short this time, so. Yeah, so you give yourself nine back. Math would dictate. All right, got it. Hit it. You want to do a CT? That's all you. We keep our old roll, but too late now. Oh. We had nine, so I was like, yeah, that's a pretty good roll, actually. But we'll see. It's all good. Yeah, should have kept the old one. <laughs> yeah, we got six. One, Again. two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you can have the nine. It's Christmas. You have nine. Yay, all of Christmas. <laughs> nine. Because they got more than nine. <laughs> Holy crap. They have 14. So they have five skirmies. Yep. Five skirmies? Get rid of these old ones. This Where did they go? Ron needed, this we'll is why keep Ron these needed two. French keep Calvary those two. tonight. Do these two. Three, four. This one. Five. That's it. Yeah. Any other skirmies? I pulled off one skirmy. Any others? I think there were only about six. All right. French, you with your mighty, how much mo? Seven mo. How much you got, Austrians? Uh, nine. Seven to nine. It's very interesting. So the French have consistently won initiative. They've consistently won the skirmishing. and it, But only a couple times have they had more momentum. Very, very they have interesting. They less brigades. Very interesting stuff. They've won less brigade, which seems to... They've impaired them slightly, but also so, they have not rolled well for their general. Correct. So they've lost a little momentum. So it, uh, it's interesting. But nonetheless, they have the initiative. So French, you're up. Bombard that uh, artillery. Do, 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 do. Here I come. Here I come. Starting at the left with... Man, that guy has not moved. So it's still four for five. Huh, oh no. And over here, four for five. Just the one. One for six. Nope. <laughs> Our hit, luck continues. I know. <laughs> All right. Hold on. CT message.
Once you get in contact, you have a lot of hard choices to make. All right, Ron. I think we shall. I think we'll stick with the first one, Ron. Okay. Volley fire. Ah, uh, boy. All along the line here. Mm -hmm. Start over here on the right. That's uh, that's two for fours. One. It's one for four. That's two for four. Ooh, one for four. Or sorry, uh, one for five. That's square. And that's two for four. Got them both. Six for five. Oh, better. A little better. Almost shakes him. That'd be a blow. Because that's a good horsey. He's a very good horsey. Uh, I think we're going to interrupt. Yeah. Kind of figured. You want to go ahead and do that, OJ? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Set in mo to activate. Where are you going, OJ? Shoot her high. Okay. <laughs> bless you. OJ says, God bless you. She says thank you. Can I activate these two as two batteries as a force or no? Or do they not? Because they're no, they're uh, not. They're not a force. Okay. Got it. Not okay. The same Unless you had chosen to brigade them at the beginning, which I, I'm willing to argue you did, but you just then couldn't assign them to anybody else. I mean, I didn't say it, so I don't want to take advantage of it. Okay. Feels a little uh, unfair of me to try and pull it now. <laughs> so let me activate this I, position. I'm going to say thank you, Achilles. I think. Actually has. We were pretty close to 20. We just missed it. Yeah, a couple times tonight. About three times we've been at 19. Yeah, we teased 20. Just didn't I quite was, get there. I was going to quote Apollo Creed at the end of, a, of Rocky 3. It is ding, ding. The, uh, all right, you so that, that was... You don't know what it is. But that was this Stutterheim moving, so you're not moving these guys back here? Oh, that's right, you couldn't. They were out of range by now. Correct. So that was two points yeah. just for these guys. What you doing now? He's moving up the artillery. Got it. Oh, you're bringing the guns from way back there. Oh, geez. Okay. Got it. Yeah. 
I need to shift in a little bit. Uh, I'll put him back here for now. That would get me to that. Um, I think I have to do it. Uh, oh, let's see. Not sure how I feel about that, Tommy. Not sure how I feel. Got to be I honest. I don't even know what a, I don't even know what a Squid Game is. It's Frankly, the, I don't know that I want to know. It's this. <laughs> it's a Netflix show that's all the rage. It's Korean, and it's it a the, very good. Show. It's uh, it's quite the social commentary. Basically, a group of people who have insurmountable debts are put into a series of video game esque challenges that wind up in getting almost all of them killed. It's ultra violent. Uh, I paid another one to change formation for this battery. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I will say this. This is why LaSalle is better than many other games that came before it. It compels you to do what commanders had to do without forcing it on you. You know, it doesn't say you have to be in this formation. You're going to wind up in that formation because it's what's good for you. Um, and then I will bombard. Mm. Mm -mm. From where? Start, let's, where yeah, do you want to begin? Start with, the, start with the brigade battery aiming at that square again. That's probably going to be bad. Brigade battery, uh, four for four for three. Three hits. Next. And we'll throw the positional battery at them too. Go three for three. Two. And then we'll throw the light battery at them as well. So four for four. Two. Two more. Six for four. Got him that time. He's dead. He's dead. First kill. And then I need to spend one more. Two holy saucers back. Way back. <laughs> way, way back. Like behind these guys back. I'm sorry, I stepped away to get a drink of water. Somebody, uh... There used to be a uh, battalion there. And he got hit by three batteries of Austrian artillery and is now no longer there. Uh, oh, that's so sad. Yeah, I was in face of the enemy, so it's over to you guys again. All right. Uh... <laughs> A crosshair. Yeah, I'm tr that's exactly what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to improve my camera work. Alrighty. This one? Yep. Moving. You only can move two inches, though. Yep. And, and CT, I, I don't know if you realize that or if that's down or moving it, but you only slow down when you hit the eight inches. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's about as far as you can go anyway. Yeah, but you only can move two inches after that, right? Correct. Right. So I wouldn't be able to clear my my unit. Sent you a message real quick. Ron. Ray, I'm going to spot you first. Can you give me eight over here? Oh, sure. Give me a sec. Considering the fact that the vast majority of these French troops have never been in this part of the world before, can you imagine how lost they must have felt? These yeah, are right. the Bavarians. I'm just following that little girl in the red hood that keeps running around here. <laughs> ah. I'm going to run into the wolf here before long. Yeah, right now we're only seeing sheep. Nice. Good. Well played. Uh, All right. That was that one. Uh, you guys can interrupt. Yep. We will, and I think the old formation change. Okay. Whereabouts? Uh, it's, a, it's a global order, so these guys are all going to change. Yeah, no, I just need to know where to point the camera. Lichtenstein. Got yeah, it. Hold on. This is going to be a bit complicated. Yes, Sal Salador. All the way over there, huh? Oh. Oh, no. Uh, he has to go on the other side to make it fit. Okay. I was just trying to get him in the, in the column, and then you could adjust him to how, wherever okay. they actually have to be. Hey, Pete. Good to see you, man. Okay. And we're going to... Where's the gun? Which one is this? That's a brigade battery. Okay. Oh, there it is. Yay! Fuck oh, position. Oh, I heard, I heard that very faint bell. Yeah, the sink, sink. Yes, the very faint muffled bell, because Haz is correct. We got the bell in. It's very quiet, but now you know what? All this time, it's been so long since we had the 20 bell, I forgot. I totally forgot I had tried to make arrangements. Uh, oh, I have one left. I might as well use that. I will rally the Hussars since I have one left. <laughs> the, uh... And are they in it? Oh, here we go. That's what I wanted. One second. <laughs> That's great. Nice. <laughs> Tea time. Miracle on 54th Street. There you go. Uh, so right. I'm rally these uh, first. Twenty bell is out. Here. So uh, they're out of range. So how many are they down? Four. They're down. That's not them. That's them behind. Yep. Four for three. 
all but one. They're back in fighting fit. That's all and your mo? Yep, that's it. All right, French. All right, spending six. If you're measuring it in terms of base widths, fair enough. Can you give me eight off of this, guys? It is 45 base widths wide by... Yeah. What do we call it among friends? 54 deep. In case you, I don't know if you were here earlier, this is a uh, converted Shaco scenario. And by, the, by and large, we're taking the French side of the battle. Then a formation change. <laughs> hey, Mo! Yeah, I do. Where are you doing that? Way over here, this last square that's still alive. Good lord! Yeah, see, this is this is why I ask. <laughs> and that'd be all our mo. Nobody's got no mo. Hey, mo. We're um, out. All right, turn six. Back to seven for us. Yep. Everybody, set reset your bases. Uh, for your brigades and you still have your baggage now check to see i imagine you're both going to use your general sure am Ooh, three. there you go there's three that's what i wanted there's yeah, three there we go three and three ooh, ooh, ooh. uh anybody mess with your skirmishers i think uh the french are actually going to get even more yeah three, we get three we back. get three more yeah, yeah. Not down three permanently though <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. Yep, we yep. still got 84. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah. Look, I'm going to take what I can get. All right. Give me one quick second. I am going to save here. What We said this is turn six, right? Top of turn six. Yep. All right. Da, 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 da. Cool. Make some fountains. Maybe with some miracle, I will actually win this time. That would be nice. Probably not going to happen, but it would be nice. That's not many. That's, That's six, about six. About what I've been rolling all the game. I'm going to roll like 20. No, but they rolled more. 13 to 6. 7. Where do you want them? Right. These two keep yep. them. This one keeps it. This one keeps it. 3, 4, 5. Two more. This one keeps it. And this one will get it. Gain one. Hooray! You win a skirmy! Wait. Not sure I wanted that. It's like the opposite of what I wanted. French, how much more you got? No. Nine. You start. Grant, we're at a 27 dice, I think, was what we're rolling right now. Well, let's start a bombard.
You're still gonna try to do that, huh? Well, this one's on the trees, so they have a slightly better chance of. Oh, did he? Uh... Oh. I moved. I deploy a new battery. Oh, okay. So you're, you, are you shooting at that one, Ron? Yes. All right. Yeah. So that's uh, now it's uh, four for four. Ah, that figures. Didn't, didn't help much. Ha ha! One. Ha ha ha. And the other one is also four for four. <laughs> two. Got two. You want to roll? Here, you roll two the damage six. this time. Two for six. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Got it. Look at He's that. Shaking. He is shaking. I almost did it again, CT. <laughs> yeah, y'all are rolling 87 and 43, right? We're getting asked in the chat. Yep. No, no, I'm rolling 84 because we lost a unit. Yeah, they lost a unit, so it's now 84 and 43. Master CT, I almost put that in the open channel. I, I think... I think it bears remembering that when uh, I posted this to the official LaSalle forum or the Sam Mustafa forum, the honor of publishing, I told him how many we were rolling. He said, how big a game are you guys playing? Big enough. And I, and I'm like, okay, Sam, you are a smart guy. You've, you've made a ton of games. You've run a ton of games. You know, gamers, it's not going to work that you tell us that we're supposed to play with 15 units on the side. Ain't happening. What if I wanted more units? What? <laughs> but Dr. Mustafa, what if I, most Dr. Mustafa, what if I wanted more units? Exactly. Real simple conversation. Did he not watch our Leipzig battle? I'm not sure he has. Well, he designed Blucher to do goofy stuff like that. He did not design LaSalle for that. Fair point. I'm assuming the French are still kibitzing. I believe they are. All right, I guess we will move over here. Dig it. I assume you want to stay outside of eight. Yeah, I don't Just think... Just outside eight. Honestly, has I don't think anybody wants to reduce the dice explosion. Heck no. What, we like what, the fountains. What would the fun lab be? Oh, yeah, I think everybody likes it. I think they find it silly. Yes, yes, I have actually received, Brant, a, a, a very nice email from a guy who said he watched 100% of Leipzig. Um, now, he played it on fast speed, but he watched all of it, end to end. I, I, I said, I can't gainsay you. I think that's insane. I, you could have skipped a bit. Oh, here they come. Ian says he watched it all. Oh, there you go. <laughs> but honestly, for all the jokes we tell, you how many times in your life do you get to do the entire freaking Battle of Leipzig, even at brigade scale? Not, not many. No, it's it's a thing. No, I agree, Tommy. I mean, as, as, and no, I'm not doing it, but as much it, I, like, if, well, maybe the next generation of computers will let us do Leipzig for LaSalle at, at this scale. 
You can all come all and right. talk to me when we finally do get around to playing the dumbest game ever designed. <laughs> I, don't, I, I, I don't know that's the computer itself. I think it's just the TTS isn't. No, I to, no. It's I, I was I tried my new Blucher bases for Vagram, uh-huh. and it couldn't handle it. Oof, really? Yeah, I got through. I got through the French, and it was down to about eight frames a second. Rest in peace. What What do you have for a video card? Ah, it's it's a couple years old, but it's it's got a gig on the board. That's it. <laughs> oh, good lord! Well, I mean, my laptop has uh, friggin'. What are you guys doing next? Anyway, yeah, uh, yeah, that wasn't on the face done? of the en- no, that wasn't in the face of the enemy. So now I'm moving again. Okay. I wasn't mean that as an insult. I just meant that's you know that's. Not a whole lot of over here, Jim. If you want to have the camera, thank you. Actually, it may be more than that. Give me, yes, thank you. They are trying to sneak around our flank. Very, yeah. yeah, What do you think your horses are doing? They're not sneaking, true. They are not sneaking. No, that's not sneaking. That looks like sneaking. They are riding in full view of everyone, man and god. They're skulking through the forest like dirty I, I think I think you're making this up. Can you give me an eight inches off the side of this guy? That. You're intending to stay out. You can just leave it there and call it, call it good. Because you try to slip. I'm not sure there's quite enough room for him to slip between those two. All right. Next. CT, do you want to move or shall we pass? I say we pass. All right. Up to you guys now. I think we have to. Well, let's do these. Let's do all of Strud- von Strudelheim first. There's going to be one for them. Right. They're not in range, I know. Right, but... okay. I just want to make sure you you remember that. Yep. That is one. You can cross the river with no penalties, Uh, right? No, no, you can, but that costs him. Yeah, that would cost him points. Uh, Don't cross the river at this point. Okay. I can just go straight up to the river, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. You can go straight up to the river and stop. Okay. And then two more for the rest of Struderheim. All right. You are going to have to start taking shots. Yep. There we go. Which one first? Go ahead and take your shots. Whichever one you want to do. Yeah. Uh, let's go first, then second. That's fine. All right, first battalion, whoever is uh, want to do that. One die for four. Got him. Great Woohoo! Spot. Ping. One die for four. Scurbies! He's got scurbies! Apparently only part of our army that can hit. I know, right? <laughs> Bring him to the right a little, I think. The right? Yeah, we don't want... We want so as I understand um, it, they skirmished and fled. Yeah, that's probably good, yeah. Then another one. I'm going to move these uh, this horse artillery. Kept it in reserve for a reason. And I, I think I have to. I think I want to move these guys down here before I do anything else. Uh, 
For those who came to Thursday Night Throwdown, you saw the pig of Royth get turned into bacon. Mm, bacon. He'll be back. I'll call 19.9 good. I'm not going to quibble over a point one of an inch. So that was one, two, three, four. Okay, I paid for everything. I think I need to rally this gun. It's one, needing three. Got it. And then I think I have to bombard. I say, well, do you want to try and rally these guys since rally is a, for a global order? Is I rally a force no. order? It's is a force order. Yeah, yeah, rally is a force order. order. Right. Sorry, I apologize. Um, let's bombard. All right. Uh, into the sky on the end here. From, From there. The, uh, yep. Four for four. <laughs> Two. God bless uh, you. Heavy battery. We will also fire. Three for four. Two. Four for four so far. And another brigade battery. Two. How Six for four. Come on. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah, oh, baby. That shakes him. And then one more to move my hussars. And you give me eight from the guy the one of the flank there. That's some pretty efficient use of Mo. Give me six, sorry. And over to you. If we choose to interrupt, where are you passing? Uh, yeah. you are, I'm asking if you want to interrupt. Yeah, we're interrupting. Figured you would. <laughs> All right, uh, do, 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 do. you want a volley? Uh, I can, yeah. All right, vale. Vale. All right. Does he have a shot? No, he does not. So this guy at the end is one for four. Yep. He is two for four. And he is two for five. Three for five. 
Nothing. Uh. Do you wish to interrupt? Um. Uh, not at this point. Alright. <clears throat> Alright. Two two mo for movement. Cool. Yep. Completely agree, Achilles. I've been thinking that the whole time. What's that? He's commending you. Oh, thank you. Some uh, excellent combined arm action going on in your left. Do you wish to interrupt? Uh, I think I, I think I will. Well, I think I will at this point. And spend my last two mo. To move, uh, move Kosovic here. There you go. And I'm out, so back to you. All right, we'll yeah, spin on my time out. Um, you, you notice I said something real nice about you. Now I'm going to ask you a question, Chrono. What's that? You want to show me where it says you can't that you can't charge what you can't see? Really? There it is. There it is. Okay, to it. a separate area. Scared me half to death. I'm pretty. I, I was. I was 99 sure of that, and I was. And I have been vindicated. Yeah, a charging unit must be able to see the target of its charge at the moment you start moving it. The target might might not have been visible to it earlier in the turn, or even earlier in this order. You might move another friendly unit out of the way, now exposing it, which you may now charge. Got it. Okay. Yep. Yep, that's that's. Be hard I was like just I was trying to see, like it always is the case with a rule set. There has to be, you know, the the rules author is arguing how a certain type of combat would go, and you could certainly see what Sam is saying would happen when two big ar two big forces like this would meet in the trees. Here we are. You were groped your way forward until you finally know where they are, and then you finally close in. Okay. Back to the French. I know, not close enough, CT. Uh, yeah, I got one unit that can volley, I think. I think it's just out. I think it's like point one out. Who's that? Oh, oh yeah. I thought he said one of those was good. Maybe not. Pretty sure it's this one. 
No, wait, they should be. I thought they moved in. Close. I thought at least one of them was, but maybe I mismeasured them there. No, I say move your guys up then, Ron. Nope. That or I can rally. Um, actually, yeah, who's, yeah, go ahead, use a rally. It's in range, so four dice, four better. Ooh. Yeah, I'm sorry about that one. That the one, I felt dice that one, man. are not with us tonight, Ron. Well, for the last like two games. <laughs> Red says that no charging rule explains the light brigade charge. <laughs> sure. I see, a, I see those guns. Let's charge them. Oh wait, there's a lot more guns in here. Not those guns. These guns. Oh, there, wait. there are your right. guns. All right, formation change. Oh ho! The guns are leaving. Well, they've discovered that counter battery is utterly without feck. They've been firing at these guys in the trees for God knows how long. Yeah, counter battery, and I, I have learned the hard I way. I would do it. I Count would do it this one, too. So. Counter battery is nigh useless. I mean, you're lobbing iron balls and hoping to. Uh, nail well, we almost got one. Yeah, they got very close to wiping out my battery right as it came to position. <laughs> they did do it. It just didn't happen much. That's all our mo. I mean, it depends on the terrain, real mm -hmm. a lot of the time. That's all there, mo. You got any left, Chrono? We are out. All right, what time we got here? Well, that's time, time for one more turn. Last turn, gentlemen, because this is also the halfway point before we start rolling dice to see if the game ends. So. Uh, let's hit it one more time. Everybody set up with your number of brigades, set up with your baggage, because you got all that. Mm -hmm. um, are you both going to use your general? I assume you are, so yeah. roll it. Uh -huh. Two, I'll take it. Two and two. And did anybody mess with their skirmishers? Nope. nope. Roll it. Oh, no, I did. I, oh. lost, I, have, uh, oh. I, have, I have lost eight. Because you had eight to lose. Holy cow. Wait, was that 43? I should be at 35. Right? My math. 43 yes. minus eight is 35. I can do math, I swear. That's some. Seven, Seven is better than my last turn. We're one less dice, so I guess I can't complain too much. As I watch their sixes pile into existence. Listening to those dice roll, it sounds like the uh, little Martians from the Toy Story. Ah! Fifteen. Okay, you have eight then. Eight skirmishers. This one. This mm -hmm. one. Yeah. This. Three. What's the range? 16. 16. From the center of the unit. Cannot go through any other unit, though. Alright. So you, okay, I just want to confirm, Delinar, you got one, two, three, four, correct? Correct. Okay. And now? This guy here. Is he within 16 of the front? Yeah. Just about. Dang it. That is a hit marker. Dang it. Got a skirmisher now. Four or five. How about this guy here? No? No, know. he's not. Okay, so he's that's out. five. Six. Then you just, you just pulled from that one. You can only get one per unit. No, I had one, two, three, four, and then I added this one for a six. Yeah, I know, but he pulled it. He pulled it from. He pulled it from this one. We'll go over here. Aha! Uh -huh. 
Uh, isn't he too close to the cab though? Oh yeah, that's right. Uh... One base width. One base width. Nope. Yeah, he. That's fine. This guy couldn't, but this guy can. Is that it? Yep. Away you go, French. Clear your dice, please. Good lord. Oh yeah, let me take care of that. Alright. First off, I'm spending one on movement. Take care, Brett. Just to remind you, you do have to put your you have to deploy the guns forward of Lindbergh. And so that would be formation change in the face of the enemy if you did that right there. Be right back, gents. I think that'll clear it. But if your intent it is to leave, Yeah, if you want to leave enough space there, I will note that as your intent so we don't run into any problems later. All right. I just wanted to make make sure that Yeah, you, that's exactly what I want to do. CT, you want to spend another one to move yours up here? Which one's he attached? Is he attached to them? No, he's attached to these guys. But if you, guys? Move, okay. if you move these guys, that's in the face of the enemy, then these guys would be stuck out friggin' in. He's out of range anyway. No, he's not eight. That's like nine. Oh. Okay, yeah. Yeah, no, that's fine. I can move him. Yeah, I can move him up right next to yours. I sense that they are not a fan of our cavalry. And then uh, formation change. They're just jealous of our cavalry. They have their own. It's, that's probably true. And now I bombard. I returned it. What did you break? Uh, They're bombarding our cavalry, I believe. No, oh, okay. Cavalry bombardment. Uh, which one you know, are you going to start with? You know, if Bernadette was in charge, he'd have cavalry. Yeah, good point. <laughs> So there it is. That's going to be for both of them. Yep. Uh, da, 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 da. Four for four. How? Four for six. Okay. How about that guy? Has he got two or one? I think it's both. Ah, uh, no bounce. He's on an elevation. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. You, sir, you get no bounce. But you do get this, which is 4 for 4 3 for 5 Come on! Nothing. Tommy says you sound like his mother, Jim. How so? I don't know. What'd you break? Yeah, did you break it? <laughs> Alright, that was a bombardment. Did you want to move you guys on your left? Yeah. Don't let them interrupt. <laughs> mm. I don't know. We don't have much. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. That, I mean, I need one for movement, definitely. Uh, 
All right, you want to do your movement? Sure. Uh, yeah, go where you were going to go. Yeah, you're not even close. Like, eight inches here. I think it's out of your 12 inch anyway. Eh, you might be able to like it, but you know. Oh, they are running. That's a hard word. Oh, I wasn't expecting that, but okay. You got to admire the stuffing out of von Stutterheim's cavalry making that long ride. That cavalry unit is in the blue curse scenario, as it should be. It's the one that sits all by itself and wound up in that face-off in the blue game. In this game, it's made this long ride over the Buchberg. Doing its best. That yeah. was in the face of the enemy, I believe, so I think we can interrupt. Yep. Yeah. Okay, um, I want to move these guns down here first. Guns, 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 where are those? Oh, good lord. Um, okay. Uh, next one will be these cavalry. Give me eight. Oh, no, wait, no, it's from the longest guy, so sorry, no. As long as once he gets in the aid of that guy, he's... That's my mistake, sorry. He'll just show, just show him end. six inches out. There we go. They're running. They were running from cavalry. I don't know how that works, but there it is. Uh, Over to you. Down here in the woods reminds me of something out of uh, the wilderness. So oh, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Uh, move these guys. All right. Well, that whole unit, I meant the whole brigade, so. Yeah, no, say. I'm going to get incredibly close, but not quite touchy. No touchy. Just remember, in blue crew, you got to square up. Your, is... center, your center point has to intersect the target. That's that's Blucher. The same Blucher. No, no. I mean, in LaSalle, though, you, your center point has to intersect. You can't do what he's doing. All oh, right, right. If you want to charge, oh. do it. Okay. Shooting, you can do whatever, but for yeah. charging, your center point has to intersect. So. There you go. If you want to stop for a charge later. There you go.
Are these with an eight? I think they are. Yep. Eight starts there, so you've got like maybe another inch. Signal Corps hardly being in the army. My dad was on a Mercy ship in World War II and they made fun of the Signal Corps guys. Uh, somehow, two of your bases joined together. <laughs> it's a super base. Super uh, base. I don't know, Jim, if you can. Right here. Miss what these what here. have you done? <laughs> I have intermingled. There you go. Okay, that's my blind stumbling through the woods. Mm -hmm. Wish to interrupt? I do. I'm going to I'm going to activate and move Lichtenstein. Then a formation change. Can these guys see over the crest at this point, or do I need to uh, move them forward more? Jim? Where's this, sorry? Oh. I should probably move it forward more. Yep. So I will save that for later. Instead. Mike? Yep. I think I put the flags in the right place. Oh, sorry, CT. I grabbed him from you. You grabbed him from me. That's all right. Out, Ron. Uh, okay. Do you want to use one of your momentum to move your get this guy in the back here? Sure. Right. Okay, I will give you one. You're talking this cavalry, right? Yeah. Yep. Can you give me eight inches off the infantry there. And then you get like six. In, well, from there you gotta like get another six to go. Yeah. That dude is rumpusing. Nope, too much. Back yep. there. He is doing exactly what light cavalry should be doing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Making himself a nuisance. All right. And I just want the record to reflect, because this is one of the things that I 
really, really cherish is that these are the first of the fourth Cheval Leger painted correctly because of Georgia. God bless you, Georgia. That, that, that be them. That's what they look like. Uh, hold on, let me talk. Which ones are you referring to for the first option? <laughs> Were you supposed okay. to blow up the Toyota pickup truck with a heat round Achilles? Or was that a, was that sort of like an imp Was that a, uh, what am I trying to say? Did you call an audible? I would say, it w in, for the second option, who, who were you referring to? Yeah, that's who I thought he was referring to. I'm I'm typing a reply. Okay. We're debating what we want to do with our last few precious momentum points. Of course. Because we have several options, and they're all could be useful. Yeah. There you go, Chrono. Uh, maybe. Yeah. That's... Y y you see where I'm going with that? Why I'm kind of waffling? Yeah. Yeah. So if you're not sure, maybe we want to do option one that you presented. Keep you. Yeah, let's do option one. Okay, I'm good with that. Two down to one low, and we are activating these guys for movement. So you guys get to shoot at us as we do our move. Well, this guy, this guy's not moving. But... All right, so this guy here, the uh, second battalion, seventh regiment. They are going to take a uh, shot. Their resolve is a four. So uh, one die for uh, four. Nope. They're fine. They have evaded the skirmishers. Them guys too. All right. Once again, they get a shot at them. Nope. And first battalion for Gizmet. Another shot. Got him. Okay, forward to you guys. How many more you got, French? I only got one, and there's only one thing we could do. Uh, CT, volley fire. Can I reach anybody anymore? Uh, yeah, these guys. Oh, just those? Okay. Yeah. I'm assuming that this clever maneuver by Crano... Yep. Yeah, it took him out. Okay. Two dice for... Four better. Nope. Pretty good symbol of the evening for you lads. Yep. Uh, we have one more left, and I guess we'll use it. For bombardment. Uh, I think all three of these guys can shoot these second division. Maybe not this light brigade. Let me see. No, he doesn't have a target there. Yeah. You could shoot that guy way in the back, though. Yep, you want to take that shot there? Yeah, that's it's 48, right? For... Yep. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. so four dice, be... four better. Five for that artillery. Oh, really? 
Yeah, they're four for five. Second division. No. Oh, no, that is the... Oh, that is the second... I did. Sorry, I was thinking the light brigade who were right next to them. Doesn't matter. You still you still hit. Yeah, twice. two hits. Yeah, uh, two so hits. two. Uh, that's uh, two hits. Four better. Got one. And then heavy position battery is gonna shoot at the second division artillery. Where's that at? There it is. So the heavy position battery three for four. And then the brigade battery also fire. Two. So it's four. four for six. Four. Oh, no. wiped it ah. out. See, his counter battery can do just fine. Ours can't. It's useless, huh, Jim? It is useless. The, you, you know the odds he rolled on that? Uh... Better than our odds. There it is. It was basically the same odds, at least slightly worse, because my batteries are throwing three. Right, exactly. <laughs> after all, after all my right. luck, after my luck with uh, Age of Hannibal and last week in Blucher, <laughs> I'm gonna take it. True. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah. Uh -oh, this uh -oh. is gonna be difficult. All right, and so I'm that's gonna... that's everything, right? That's all my mo. All right. Well, the French are in trouble, kids. The French are in real trouble. Well, that was all our mode, too. Yeah. So we're end of turn seven, about to start turn eight for the next time we pick up. Yeah, the French. I, I will say this right now, getting ready to. Well, well, we'll punch it over to turn eight, knowing that that's where we'll start. The French have absolutely got to go faster. It, it, the thing is, it's impossible in the woods. You can't, you can't go any I gotta faster. Go back, I got to go back and look through the previous turns, which I'll have the opportunity to do because I saved them. I wasn't sure how far forward like we can check. These guys were up here, so they had to push yeah, them we, back. We threw these guys way up. Whoops. We threw them up here and then moved them up early to... No, but there's nobody... Th you got these guys here, sure. These guys... No, no, no. Early, these guys were up here. But Grando, Grando, if he forms here, can get to here fairly quickly. I, actually, I was formed there. These guys blocked me. We moved these guys up as soon as we could. Yeah. yeah. And so I was oh. only moving two inches at a time. Which is part Yeah, but of how do you not move way. first? I think they did. They just moved it, elsewhere it, on the field. It, it was, I think what it is is they had the initiative, but they didn't move rando at the very beginning yeah that's what i'm saying units. It, and, and so we took the opportunity on our first turn to move um stutterheim immediately because Stutter, yeah, kaiser's here oh, yeah. i get that but Liechtenstein is heckin gone Liechtenstein's still back here yeah Liechtenstein was was formed up here in uh yeah that, that guy yeah. Is... and B bieber moved up here as a reserve yeah, because Bieber started back clear yeah. back here, but we we anticipated needed to move him up into this gap here. Yeah, like the first the very first few things we did was move these two units up into these positions to block quick movement through here. Because because in LaSalle you can move very quickly through the woods if no one's in their way. <laughs> right, that's the and that's exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know though. I don't know. Because, I mean, these guys. Part of it is we, I think we managed to do a very good job of giving them other stuff to worry about. I guess we shall see. We shall see. Because these guys I don't are... see us take, I actually don't see us taking it, but. These guys are a huge problem. No, yeah, we're. All he has to do is the rest of the game just slowly back away. Which is what he's going to do. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and our charges aren't going to work. Right. I think what actually made you guys, but threw your guys off tempo was these cavalry coming up very early. Yeah, that was, oh yeah, that, thank you for that. 
letting the cavalry pin down that many guys was insane. You got to shoot them to pieces. The you, problem is we're trying to. We just can't get them. You don't. Yeah, we, you don't do that in. You don't do that in March. You do that in line. There's no way to. The problem take is every time they get into for, they get into us. If I did a formation change right when they got into us, then they, we would have been freaking smacked. I mean, the thing you is, are smacked like, because because they pinned you. He he pounded on you with these guns. That was what Achilles was talking about. Right. Oh yeah, I know that. Oh, know. I knew that exactly what he was doing. Yeah. I'm not dumb. I knew what he was doing. It was just that. Uh. I don't know. It just even if, that's what we try to do. We formed lines here, but then after that, we didn't have the opportunity to form line without him being able to charge us. Well, I think uh, I'm a believer, and I and I may be wrong. LaSalle may punish me for this, but I'm a strong believer that you shoot. You have to. Sh you have to. There's a legitimate strategy to shooting cavalry at a distance before you form square. I agree with that. It just very. It's just very dependent. Which we did, that. if you noticed the first turn. Yeah, but you only formed one unit into line that shot at him. No, two. They okay. had two, but they were shooting different units. Like yeah, that's, and that's, that's because he didn't, have, he didn't have the room to form the other ones. Yeah, that's that's the problem. I, and, twice I had six hits on his cav and got nothing. That's true. He did try. He, also there, correct. The, 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 his credit, he did shoot at me. He just could not convert a lot of it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And that that that's certainly part of it. And I think so the conversion think, rolls are death toll to us. And I I think there is a legitimate strategy for deploying in line. You shoot up cavalry as it comes in. You just have to have nerves of steel and know that you'll have the initiative next turn. Which, to be fair, the French should have scenario. If less, if, you, if the issue is close, is a closer run thing. It's a, it's, it's more of a gamble. But you guys have been pretty close with the eight inches the whole time, and for you know, so it's been, it's been rough. Yeah, I mean, it, I think you guys have been playing as well as you could. So, so the question comes up uh, to Dalinor, who I always ask this question because he's always my charge ahead. We go again next week. Let me see some CT. <laughs> they, they must consult. They must consult the emperor. Which road was it that we needed to cut them off, Jim? Oh, that's right. We did get you on this road. Yeah, unfortunately, you took the guy off. We can fix that. <laughs> he typed it in the uh, group chat there. Uh, well, you know what I'm talking. Well, just <laughs> yep. type it in the team chat. That's just because I was counting dice the one time. Because right now, nobody has any points. I will say, I feel very confident at this point, but I do not think it's a sure thing. All right, we'll keep going. All right. We'll go again. This will work fine, because we'll get, we'll obviously finish next week, and in two weeks, two weeks... Trafalgar. Trafalgar. Mike is hiding. Mike is afraid of the sea. He spent his career yeah, in the ocean, right. and now he's afraid of the sea. Do we get to do measurements? I'll freaking pin it then. <laughs> that isn't Fletcher Pratt. I know. It's chain of command, sir. All right, let me do this here. We're going to call this... I'm doing all these saves for obvious reasons. <laughs> Mid. All right. So oddly enough, what we've had two units killed? Yes, very, very late into the game, honestly. Yeah, we've had uh, the first of the 72nd and the uh, second and the second division artillery. Let me ask, going into this, uh, concerns about the scenario. Do you have any at the moment? I mean, from the French perspective, I, if I was playing French, I would say, well, I have no cavalry. But at the same time, it's sort of like that's part of the initial scenario design. It's, I think it's supposed to give you that challenge. Because you do have a lot more. I think, do they have more infantry than we do? Because they've got like three brigades of like six, right? So they have 18 battalions. Yeah, I mean they've they've got 
they've got more guys. And they- you got, and, but even though we have more guys, your lo- larger units could freaking probably hold us up. That the you sevens lot of will, that. but the other issue is your skirmish is so much higher. Yeah, oh, yeah, but it hasn't really been that effective because True. we haven't been ranged I mean, to do anything with them. I would I would have done this move like two turns earlier if they were pinned by skirmishers. I'll say that. We That's have... also true. It's interesting that skirmishers pin movement. I it because I mean it's not a lot of damage, but it's enough of a damage that that it's potentially swinging later on. That it, it, it's made me hesitant to want to move units or change. Correct. Them. True. Yeah, nobody so, nobody wants to lose a free point, right? Yeah, so like this, I would have done this withdrawal probably a turn or two earlier if I didn't have these skirmishes all over him. I only did this turn because like, well, I have to because now you're up close. And this guy has been pinned down by skirmishers before too. Where we yeah. just have not wanted to move them because we don't want to give up the free hits. So they haven't inflicted a lot of actual damage. We did get two hits down here. But they have definitely impacted the way you make decisions. Interesting. Any other thoughts? I'm just trying to I'm just trying to aggregate them because this goes to, you know, my intention is basically to convert all the Shaco scenarios to LaSalle that I can lay my hands on for I know, it's just I it's fine. I mean, it's just a tough scenario for the French, so I'm trying just trying to think. That yeah, I'm trying to separate yeah. uh, legitimate thoughts about the scenario from frustration at my bad die rolling, and I'm sure. struggling. Yeah, that's I'm struggling it. to separate that right now. That's valid. Because yeah, had you shot up, let's say you had indeed shot up these two horse earlier on. Could be yeah, I, I still have the mountain to climb, getting close enough to do anything because he has those guns that are just going to rain down on me the well, entire advance. And that's that's what they're talking about in the chat right now, CT, is whether to form square when you're facing combined arms like that or not, or stay in line. Well, that's what our debate was going back and forth. So, because tuna, what are you doing awake, man? With with the <laughs> minus four, because the minus four for formation can you can wipe out a formation just with the cavalry charge. So, I mean, do you get wiped right. out either which way? I mean. Well, I think probably what they're arguing, though, and I think it's what Jim's saying, though, is that you get a higher fire rate, or not fire rate, but, but fire more firepower right. to, to take on that cavalry, right? That, that you're taking the gamble that you can shoot up the horse before they can get into your into your formation. And it's still average of six hits compared to all the dice rolls he did because the way the line would have went, you only probably would have been six firing at him at a time anyway because as you stretch your line, the other half of the line can't hit it, so... I think part of what frustrated you as well is the fact that I chose we chose to deploy forward rather than back. Ah, the four part was just so bad. It's just like I keep the the thing without being able to charge it up until we get to two inches is such a pain in the the nucus. Yeah, and I mean I, I gotta say you bringing up your infantry here mm-hmm. was good because I was uh, okay with leapfrogging my squared and you know mass formations up and pushing your cavalry back slowly to gain the tree line but as soon as you come out with you know all that in the open behind you i can't mask behind your cavalry forever i mean this is something mike and i thought about for a bit we're like we have this whole brigade and reserve back here and we were wanted to commit it either to the right if this became if uh stutterheim got overwhelmed or if bieber wasn't enough to slow you guys down but then once this split right here i mean i'm probably explaining too much my strategy because we're gonna keep playing next game next turn but it's kind of obvious at this point i guess yeah but uh once this uh split up and we started taking losses i figured you know let's just throw the whole brigade up towards toygen especially because most of the rest of our forces are stuck in this tar pit at this point, so let's give them a give them a left hook. See what happens. Yeah, and you've got enough turns to keep shoving them back. That's the thing I keep coming back to. I mean, you've got eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, you've got six turns. And I do not have the forces to cover everything. I th- like I'm 
like this unit on the flank here could still get in the back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right now on this flank, I've got two battalions and a battery against. Yeah, I mean it's flank. it. You're right. I mean there is. Well, no, no yeah, there's there is. St- I mean there's still a slight chance. That's why I said we weren't going to give up yet. Yeah, I I think we said at at best we we can't lose. We won't lose, but we won't win. Because it's quite possible that the French swap swap Schneidart for Teugen. Interesting. Which that that would be a French loss, though, really, in the grand scheme of things, wouldn't it? Um. Probably. Maybe not as the scenario is written, but in you know. No, but yeah, as a strategic matter, yeah. Well. Right. Well, what the French want to do is go this way. You'll notice there's no road here. That's why an Austrian unit sitting here is such a big deal. Because Davu wants to get out of here. He's just opportunistically deciding to punch the Austrian army in the face. Oh, okay. But if this brigade takes uh, Toygen, the entire... Yeah, now he's got a problem. Yep. He's got these guys up front, and now his line of retreat is not great. Right. Which is very Napoleonic, honestly, because when you lose line of retreat, everything goes to heck in a handbasket. Right. Oh, yeah. So if, absolutely, if you get Schneidhart, but the Austrians take Toygen and cut this road, that's a French loss. Nope, LaSalle is the best stuff. It really is. Um, it's I've I've enjoyed this game tonight. I think it's given me a lot of given us a lot of interesting uh, choices and a lot of things to think about. And I mean, I know you probably don't feel like it, but there have been times tonight where I've been very worried. So. No, no, and and look, I mean, you can't beat bad dice for certain things. I mean, it, there's that's fair. You know, that's um, what did I what pictures did I use? Oh, I do. Hey, Chrono, get the chat real quick. Oh, parenthetically, for those at home, this is Toygen. That's very pretty. Yeah, this is Toygen kind of walking up. Looking what direction, you think? Yeah, you're uh, at this point, what you're doing is you're actually kind of, because Royth, by the way, people were asking after Royth. Royth is over here. Is that um, big, that giant forest in the background, the forest we're currently fighting through? The one that's creating the... Sh- no, the, the forest you're fighting through is the one creating the shadow. Oh, I see. So this is looking south from me. Yeah, you're looking... You are stand... Uh, my wife, Edward, and I are standing about here. Oh, the forest isn't pushed back, I'm saying. Looking back. No, you're at, looking, oh, to Toygen. Sorry, I'm talking about how yeah. we can send down. This so thing, this is the marker for the battlefield that you can see was put up at the 200th anniversary of the battle. See, Ted threw a message in there. That sucker is sitting right here. Not that you'll remember next week. So there it is. All right. How many people hung out and decided to chat with us? 13. Not bad. Oh, bless your hearts. And the chat was very active. Discussing yeah, we had too. a very – this was great. This was, I guess, as the fall comes, that's uh, that's what comes. Anyway, um, it's oh, it's that time anyway. So thank you all so much for joining us. Really, really do appreciate it. Um, happy to have you by. We'll be back for part two and the wrap-up of Toygenhausen. In two weeks, we're going to drag into Trafalgar. We're not sorry for Kiss Me Hardy. On Wednesday, we will go back and finish up our game of What a Tanker in the Western Desert, where all sorts of tanks are shooting at each other, and Vance drove his little bitty Fiat into a bad alley where he got himself whooped. We'll see how that winds up. But it's also fair to say, I don't know, was it you, Chrono, or was it, uh, was it Vance that flipped over OJ's tank? 
Oh, that was. Um... Oh, Wednesday night. I yeah, that was. Oh, that was I did it. I was with me. Oh, I was with Dalnor. There it is. All right. So yeah. we'll be back for that. And on Thursday, I think we're going to have something a little bit special. Uh, I've been asked to do some playtesting for a scenario that's going to appear in the Lard Annual for Chain of Command. So in addition to CT and Vance getting on with Operation Martlet, very exciting, we're going to be doing a special uh, Chain of Command game based on the scenario that is still in playtesting. So we'll see what that looks like. So all sorts of crazy stuff. And um, yeah, please join us for it. In the meanwhile, thanks for everybody who played. Thanks for everybody who watched. And we will see you soon. Please take care of yourselves and one another. We'll see you soon. Operation Martlet should be interesting because now the British 